but yeah, given that this is a large We are map, live? Is, okay, uh, good. We are live. Uh, to to if you guys can hear Winslaya, let sessions. me know. I, Thumbs I up in chat. I'm gonna go ahead and double check streamer mode it. just to... It, uh, this is a new... For, like, my own, for my own for my my own own purposes, I like to turn it on in, in Discord and then turn it off, because I find that that usually makes a difference. Nope. I've never played the... Of so we are going to be playing here, um, hey, hey, what's up, Jason? How's it going? So here we are playing Age of Wonders for multiplayer. We're going to be playing, this is our new necromancy oh, okay. from on so, um, high build. So today we're going to be playing around with something that's like sort of broadly hey, broad uh, based uh, off of uh, you, Despicable you Neutrals, if you've seen that post on, on Reddit. I do think that broadly speaking, you don't need to play with ritual cannibals in order to start at neutral. It is very easy to become neutral for high by just finding a free city and declaring war on them. What you got. But I and did want to do something with uh, necromancy and high itself, like, itself, like working together. Like and because of the way um, interacting with corpses okay, works, good. I think we, we that there is actually a really big overlap yeah, in terms of value for using ritual cannibals and necromancy. Because if you watched the uh, the battle that I had with Maya um, in the skirmish mod, there was an opportunity for me to potentially bring a bone dragon back from the dead with a necromancer, but I couldn't do it because there was a dead body on top of the bone dragon. And so utilizing any here. tools that you have yeah. in order to manipulate corpses can actually be really big. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I think I'm, I'm just, I'm going to start my stream, Winslaya, and then just like start talking through my build and then whenever we're ready to fire, we're ready to fire. Sounds good. Yeah, I think we'll be soon. Okay. Uh, but we are playing with uh, Aurora the Keeper here. We have a champion with Crowmaster's Bow. I do think that, broadly speaking, you should not be playing anything other than Wizard King if you're playing, like, super duper duper sweatily. But I think a champion, if you're, like, trying to utilize high and uh, the neutral AI power players. is actually so defensible, especially because we are going to be playing with Imperialist as well. Now, Imperialist is, like, mostly a Rush-style um, pick. So, like, this, this uh, style so of build today, in a giant eight-player free-for-all would actually be pretty bad. Top. We would want rather to do whatever we could to continue <laughs> keeping our, our research scaling as high as possible. Something like Hermit Kingdoms, which is I, meaningfully I keep, worse, like, is still, though. I think, in defensible tower, in this like, position. Um, if you're playing as high, like Hermit Kingdoms is still With very, very strong. If you haven't advantage seen advantage uh, not, the, what, what, what we actually got done of the highest tournaments, then like check that out. I think it might be um, but Ritual Cannibals is going to be good for us, simply because of the ability to manipulate things in combat. And then starting on fixed neutral is actually a, a nice little economic bonus. We are going to be using necromancy though, um, so what we're going to aim to do probably is find a free city to clear war on it, basically ASAP, kill their hero, and then uh, resurrect it using his souls. No, he's not, he's not on a team already. He should get maybe be put on a team by the host, actually. Uh, no, Noctis doesn't need to be on a team. He'll count as, oh. like, given that he has no team, he'll just declare war on everybody okay. in a team format. What if he... What if he declares war on one set of people and not the other? He he should declare war on you as soon as you run into him with scouts. Okay. Okay. No scouting. Yeah. So w as, no as scouting I said, boys. <laughs> yeah. You, just no no scouts. Don't don't <laughs> see Noctis and he can't hurt you. I'm I'm just gonna stay in my in my. Alright, I'm not ready. My bad. All right. So we are playing a. Um, Everyone's ready. Kind of like a weird yep. map here. We're playing with uh, the free cities that give us plus five population in free cities, uh, as well as banner lords. And so we have some like really, really huge options here whenever it comes to utilizing free cities, which we're not going to be maximizing here today. I do want to do another big free city thing in, in single player. Uh, but I think that, that what, we're, what we're doing here, playing around with necromancers, I think I think that's going to be enough to, to do some real spice. And of course we're bringing oh, bears, because I love like bear mounts. I think they're really cool, uh, and the extra 10 HP on an Awakener is a, is a good deal. Also, I want to post my link, so this turn will take me a minute longer right. than other oh, turns. Uh, yeah. oh, what the fuck is the start? Okay. All right, so, like, I, again, I don't think this is insanely far away. Let's see how far the AI thinks it would take for me to get to you. I could probably get to each of your capitals in, like, what, three or four turns of walking? But well, I'm what on a about team the general map size? And Dez. And Dez yeah, it's is... a Gracian, uh, Nurgles, <laughs> and Dez. Dez, are you the, the jester person on Discord? Yeah, Dez is the jester. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You want me to call you Dez and Nurgle? 
Yeah. Uh, you can just call me Walker. That's fine. Okay. You're Walker. I get you and Winsley confused a lot. Yeah, good. I'm not sure why. Good. It's double use the rare. Is that Attention. Is it, is it's it good? Coming, it's chatty. all coming together. All right, All right so here, what we're going to do is so we're just going to do you know, our, our normal thing, get as much experience points as we can uh, at the very beginning of the team. game. But here, hello. I think what we're going to try to do is just secure this uh, Archon Blood ASAP. Archon Blood is right, a I piece of a um, Cosmoflux I'm, Elixir, I'm, I'm sorry, and if we can get that looking okay all pinned down, point. I would like it. Was I, what, what were you saying? Uh, map size looks good. I, I like Map size looks good. And, yeah, and, like and I, I, I doubt it's not that bad. I it's not that bad. Like, if there were eight players here, then then yes, we would want to be playing on small. But like, it's it's for six players. Most of the space, like the size, comes from the six players, and six players gets a a reasonable size map, I think. All right, so here we're gonna go ahead and start with our quarry. And because we do have um, the Despicable Neutrals thing going on, we do have 45 uh, stability at the beginning of the game. That's a lot of extra production. And we get our production rolling early with a, an artisan workshop. And then we get to take advantage of the fact that Heise actually has like a uh -oh. pretty solid economy at the very beginning of the game. Because you don't even boy, need to run. Boy. Oh, what's up? Synergy. We're, we're... Oh, You're evil hey. and I'm good. We're gonna have to come to blows at some point. Well, good, that's important. Uh, yeah. there's a, wow, there's a ritual circle. We could probably take that down. Yeah. Let's see what's in there. Get uh, some, uh, get it. some good stuff for us. I'm in a kind of a yeah, weird spot, though. Like, look at my, my territory to the west of my capital. But we are playing as yeah. a champion, so I can um, just drop the bow. Okay. I don't need that. That's, that's nonsense. I'd right. rather find right. a good weapon uh, here. Okh. We do want to well, probably we can, start working our way up towards the south um, of you. Then, yeah, I'm gonna, like uh, immediately fine. south of me. There's some stuff that I definitely want to pick up. Um, like there's a an archon blood, but like what's actually underneath the ritual circle, we'll see. Like directly <laughs> to the west, it's just a yeah, shield wall. Why is your capital's name Kingsload? <laughs> I did not name that myself, but it's great actually. I might want to keep that. I know it's not the right kind of load, but it's still kind of, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I should change the okay, spelling so of that here load, we've taken advantage of, yeah, yeah high and industrious have a really great, straightforward economy. Oh, God. Um, barbarians, I think, is something that we will be revisiting in a very short period of time. That might be, like, two or three single-player streams from now. We'll see. Um, because, you like, there are some things laugh. that we can I'm do sorry, to that's gonna happen. probably You're make... You're not going to be able to tell oh, shoot, that I'm enjoying Walker. your jokes because I'm, I'm pushed to talk. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I'm trying quiet. to train like, okay. Winslaya like, on push to talk. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need this, the approval of everyone around me, okay? <laughs> Good. No, I'm just projecting. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, we're, we're trying to get Winslaya on, on to push to talk so he can, uh, you know, provide more more commentary when there's dead air. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> well, he's not, gonna not be been on it for a long time. I'm going to be talking about stupid shit the whole time for like three hours. Oh, because Gracian is not on push to talk, that's why. No, I'm not. You're going to hear every thought that comes out of my mouth, every sound effect, good, good, every good. voice. Mm -hmm. I, I may go back to it. Uh, I, yo, what's like up, Zero? Yeah, so we like, are starting a new campaign today. We are starting fun. our game with the um, the really necromancy from on high. So we are playing voice. with just like traditional despicable neutrals. We're running uh, resistant oh, and dire bear mounts. Day, I feel like dire bear God, mounts provide some pretty reasonable amount of value to... To our awakeners, Dale in the form of just like the extra raised. HP as well as the extra damage for overwhelm, right. that gives us so like a really big advantage when it comes to artillery duels. What? We still don't want to like <laughs> overcommit to so to using awakeners though, because we're we're gonna pick up some uh, tyrant knights. I want to use some tyrant knights. I think they're cool. I think I think tyrant knights are really cool. And we found a uh, a I size am... six hostile city, baby. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 oh. But we're we're playing on a weird map today. We are going to be playing with Noctis. We are so like whichever Hello? team defeats Noctis wins. We're also going to be playing with um, Banner Lords and with uh, big free cities like the plus five population free cities. And so this means that conquering Something. those free cities is going to be really <laughs> really powerful. Right, we're see. probably going to want to do that like that is for second, ASAP. And we're going to want to drop in a. 
uh, little th a post here to control this Archon Blood. Because this looks actually like an Archon Blood fight that I think we can take. So here we're going to go ahead and rush out the Dawn Defender. I don't hate um, by rushing right. something if you really, really need it. Okay, here we go. Um, it's not too bad, Nurgle. If you look down What's here. Up? Okay. Not too bad, this ritual circle. Well, I, I just uh, to... rush out a Dawn Defender. I'm going to see if, if I lose anybody in this fight, but if you if not, I'm happy to now? bust that Ritual Circle and then go north. Yeah. But because we're playing on teams, we sh I think we can fight Noctis here, but it is a a, um, a, 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 a major advantage, Noctis. So it's going to be it's going to be spooky. Uh, and I think I think we're just going to clear out the rest of this territory here and then uh, and, and indeed hit that ritual circle and then bounce. Is there enough HP in that? You have too many things. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that Guys, fight. I found one. When you, when you can clear without a fight, I did it. All right, so here we have two Option. wild speakers. Two wild speakers is also, actually a little spookier. Feel free to ask me <laughs> if you want to know if your your ancient wonders can be cleared mm. without a fight. So we're gonna yeah, go we into Tyrant Knights for <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna go into Doom yeah, Herald. I think it kind respect, of depends on what our other respect. tier two tome is gonna end up being because <laughs> yes. we're definitely taking um, souls. We're just gonna take probably a, you know, all of the necromancy thing. tomes we'll see yeah. I, i'm not 100 percent sold on tome of the uh, eternal lord in in multiplayer it's pretty bad but we're definitely going with uh well so you don't even need nightmares there in order to to make morale oh, crushing if you have doom herald and tyrant knights uh, you can slaughter people and morale pretty oh, quickly no. <laughs> what do you mean oh no uh, <laughs> boy i don't so know about this do fight it. I wish, I wish we had a, a better weapon. That if would be good. It, someone else gonna um, what kind of offs do you think the other cultures need to bring them up competitively while keeping their unique approach? Over which one of them has a foot so so the, the mystics, I would pretty clear say, probably needs to start by it. just Zombie reducing the costs on things. Zombie. All right, I'm going to wait until just, next turn for this fight because the AI will behave better here. And we do actually have enough damage. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, we're healing 20 HP by waiting one turn. And we only have one healer right now in Sun Priest. So I'm going to wait for that fight. Then we'll hit the uh, the the camp and then move south. the Ogre Skeep, you can take it without fighting? Oh, yeah. Winslia knows all, which, all of them that can uh, be cleared without a fight. That's that's pretty broken. Oh, so the, uh, um, I think Mystics uh, probably like it, just it, needs their, uh, their the right like alignment. astral building yeah. to be cheaper in terms of production because uh, like they have yeah. a pretty it, bad like, economy sort of early stuff. on. Uh, but like whenever they get their uh, their, I, I their building in here video, that gives them research and knowledge and stuff for every pickup that they've done, if they've been aggressive at you know generating units and clearing things and and trying to pick up stuff, then that can make them actually be competitive from a research. Standpoint, but it's There's so expensive 12, in terms of its production because it's, it's, it's like 750. The more I talk about Let's it, the more see. people the watch it, the better it is the video. Uh, and no, that's like, not it. I think people in general will benefit from having that knowledge. People in, in general do benefit from having that knowledge, and more people need to watch that video. Are, are more people watching watch that, that video, video now, Winslaya? Uh, you know, it's continued to get views, I'd say. Like, I, it's, it's slow crawl, it hasn't dropped off as fast as other videos, so that's nice yeah, to see. Yeah, I, I would be not at all surprised to see that keep building, because uh, it's, not a lot of people know about it. So, like, no one's searching for it. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's Winslaya, the, the desire. Winslayer's channel at, uh, it's called, called Gracian00 on YouTube, and just watch yeah. videos until you find it. <laughs> uh, but I yeah, I think I think strategy. if Mystics just get their get their building <laughs> earlier, then they're probably a little out. better. I think Dark they just oh, need to like rework thing, yeah. entirely the way no, that, that they they, they have soon, that so. economy structured. Because oh. right now that entire economy is structured around like capturing <laughs> heroes and other um, things that are an incredibly rare you, occurrence, Nurgle and then here? like. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'm 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 coming down. I just I have to clear some of these fights, and I have like two wild speakers looking at me. You want me to come up and be involved in that one? No, or that one I th that one experience? should be fine. Grab the like, take the the chaplain fight. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I thought it would be more difficult, but then I looked at the combat power. I lost a boy. I lost a boy. 
But we're working with, with Gracie in here to go down there and clear. Yeah, I can reinforce into the ritual fight next turn. Perfect. My guys will be a little dinged up, but uh, if we should be able to fight yeah, this, right? I'm, yeah. I'm Do you I'm have another unit that. you can get there? Nope. Can you buy rush something like a protector? Because your front line doesn't exist. Because you got a you got a staff hero, or you could just unequip the staff, but then you don't have the summon. Yeah, um, I had a front line that died in that fight. <clears throat> Another one, so. Um, um, I'm not willing to spend that much money on it. Uh, so we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it as it is, and we'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah. All right. All right. I might. Uh, if I if I buy it out no because there's that the bridge is over there. Um, yeah, I don't think. It's I mean, a, like, I think. What what have you been producing in terms of units initially? Uh, well, I usually started with an extra unit, but I actually started with a scout this time, so yeah. I don't have a, a, a you don't have an extra yet. guy. That happens. I'll just do it. I'll just do it to make you happy. I More like. Important. We probably can make it without the protector, but I I just like because no, one okay. of your units is at nine HP. I want you it's, to be happy, Nurgle. I think you'll be really? better that way. Yeah. I think this is gonna. This is. This should be pretty good. It's tough being on a team with you because I play a lot of Dark Tide and. <laughs> good. You know, Nurgle is just. He's just. He causes. He causes difficulties for me. Perfect. And I'm just worried that this planet could become like like. You know, a garden nest. Yeah, a garden. Garden of Nurgle. What's the What's the name of the the stupid building that Mystics build that gives them infinite knowledge once they've picked things up? What, what's the name of that building? <laughs> I never use Mystic. Wait. Oh no. The, <laughs> You're <a> yeah. Mystic. <laughs> right. Exactly. And it, it's really good. It, you just have to like suffer for the first thirty turns. Infinite Nodge. All right, you want me to do it? Do it! Uh, uh, oh no. That's fine. I don't care about those those defenders. I'm happy okay. to participate in that fight. Yeah, You got a lot of stuff out of that. That's pretty sweet. Thank I don't know if I got one. anything out of that other than experience points, but that's that's good enough. All right, so we got the Archon Blood online, and now we have another Dawn Defender. Because um, like this is this is what you want to mostly be doing at the beginning of the game. There's some debate as to whether or not you want to produce like one um, a scout. I think generally speaking, no is the right is the right answer. There are some builds like Industrious who really do rely on pumping out scouts. And so like to return, we're just gonna talk to people and then to and then about the questions that we have floating and the, the question of how do we fix the other culture's economy i think is a complicated one um dark needs to give up on on like their economy being purely hero driven because like that's just not there, there's not remotely enough uh heroes for that to be a real thing so i don't know how to make that one a little better like i like the fact that they ignore stability penalties but they also don't have like ways to abuse that productively and that can be um shrieker's helmet is not annoying. one of the ones that you can get for free right correct no but i was thinking benji yeah you don't want seafarer right generally no but it does interact with rivers um and pangea yeah, is I... not pure land there is water it, this is not land oh, um yeah that that that's what happened i'm right next yeah. to water and there's some juicy stuff there yeah yeah, I they're... was not expecting all this water right here. Yeah, me yeah. too. <laughs> it's it's Pangea. It's a weird map, but I I, I like it. I think it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. <clears throat> feudal. I think that feudal's economy probably isn't unfixable, yeah, I but I think that in order to make to feudal's wonders, work, I think you probably need to try and just go get all the free wonders. <laughs> I think you need more hero stuff. Um, I love when the, the rivers like, flow up the Just mountain. ways to, to to buff up their heroes to make it so that it, it like the minus one, one hero level yeah. that you need to absorb the at the beginning of the game is, so is a little less costly. Correct. 
like because also their <laughs> their unit quality is really bad like maybe that's the way to down. fix the feudal economy is like fix this steadfast and, and their unit quality because if those were better then their economy might be a lot better <laughs> it's just like right now they they waste like 500 gold replenishing chaff i mean the mountains there's water too bro. Like, yeah my capital is called hourglass maybe we're just playing in reverse oh Ooh. Maybe. i love that idea All right, so now we just need to find Noctis. Yeah, you, you go find him. Yeah. No, like everybody, everybody, let's find Noctis. Team, team Watch. up. Is that a win? Is that a win condition? If you like, that's kill the him, win you condition. Yeah, kill Noctis. Killed, yeah. Or oh, kill God. all three of your opponents. Or kill all three of your opponents. Yes. Uh, Reavers, I think that there's some ways to make Reavers work, but I think they're in the same boat of Feudal, where, like, a meaningful part of the problem with Reavers isn't necessarily their economy, because I think that, like, the economic buildings in Reavers aren't that bad, and I like the way that they're able to use, uh, war spoils, but, like, the auto-resolve for Reavers is just, like, a shameful display, very, very bad, and part of that is that the mage locks just do not perform particularly well. Even even in the hands of like relatively veteran players, players, they're they're difficult to get great value out of. Like uh, I didn't stream it, but yesterday on Winslay's channel, you can you can watch it. Winslay had a skirmish with Ninju that I got to like watch and officiate. So we found out a way that there there you can observe um, skirmish fights. So for all three fans of of skirmishes, we are getting closer and closer to being able to do a tournament of that so if you're interested in it like just message me on discord because we'll be glad to, to loop you in on it um but but basically i think in order to make God, some of these things work the, okay. the way you, the way you need to approach it is not just is their economy good or bad you'll, but you'll, also you'll like what are the outside pressures and for feudal and reavers the, the outside pressures of their their you know rosters doesn't work what's up He's gonna take all the bonus damage. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh no, this guy can't reach. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I laughed and said I believed it, but now I'm like, oh, <laughs> push to talk. <laughs> push to talk. <laughs> push to talk. Is okay. Never mind. All right, so let's buy rush this uh, Dawn Defender. Are you close enough to get into range? No, just barely not. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get that fight next turn. And we're actually, like, just out of range to get those guys into healing. That's kind of annoying, but that's, that's again, that's not the end of the world. Because our, our ruler is the only one who's, like, got any meaningful amount of damage on him. Pick that up. And now we've got um, this uh, production stash for next turn. And I think we're just going to go clear out this route. Oh, holy crap. It's a size nine free city under the earth out there. All right, well, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Can we get this uh, Dawn Defender in, in range to reinforce next turn? Yes. And I think I might want to do that anyway, just because like we're going to get level four kind of regardless, and we didn't pick up any um, equipment in that, that fight down there. Unholy Leader or Vigor. Well, you know what? We don't have any any undead yet, so we're gonna take vigor, and we we don't have any good weapons yet either, so we're not really getting great value out of fighting. I'll play necrotic magic. Uh, I've got dawn defender there. That's out of the way. Oh, and we're still scouting, right? We're looking for our friend Noctis. Oh, okay, great. So normally spirit hawk is just trash, um, the other day who but was playing here primal culture. because we're doing he hadn't so played much, much scouting. Of the game. Like since it came out, I'm, in, I'm here for it. Um, and he was like, "He's like this woodcarver's workshop. Why wouldn't you just always start with that?" I was like, "Well, that's the thing. <laughs> you do, but you just you do. <laughs> um, uh, if you don't have primal, you don't have it. It's just better. It's just a good building." Yeah. Yeah, primal's got primal's got some some really good stuff going on, but I still haven't mm -hmm. seen anything where like their their knowledge just like really really explodes. But I also haven't played around with like some of the some of the prim primal guys yet. I think there's like mm -hmm. I think I've really only played like two of them. Yeah, ex yeah, ex same here. I'm trying uh trying a new one right now. Cool, cool. Oh, are you playing Walker the you're playing the uh the serpents? Yeah, those are cool. Walker. Yeah, I haven't done that one yet. What what you got, Winslayer? 
knowledge is really easy to get off the mammoth, but I don't know how much you've played with the mammoth thing. I, I really not a lot. Um, so like, I, th I think I like started one game with mammoth once at like eleven, and then played it for an hour and a half, and then fell asleep. <laughs> It's good. It's good. I think it's well. Obviously, the frozen ain't bad. Yeah, yeah. It seems like it. It also has some good options in terms of being able to displace. Like that's a very powerful effect that is relatively rare. Sometimes I um, can't get into that. Fight. End up in an altered state of mind late at night, and then I start a game with something and play for a while and not have any clue what's going on and then the next day I'll be like, what the hell was I doing? That's like my entire life, thing? man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get, uh... Good. 68 extra production gets Sunspire up. So now we're getting really close to being able to push through a Town Hall. I think here, um, I'm going to be interested in picking up a Light Forge because we're going to start working on Necromancers here. And that means that we need Draft because that's going to be a draftable thing. And we are going to reroll for ne Necromancers. Like, not having those on online is shameful because we're going to get a Whiteborn hero whenever he kills a city. And we're going to kill that city. Um, Desia, are you, oh, are you con conquering uh, Selenra right now? I'm considering it. I was going to ask you actually if that's okay if I do. Uh, I mean, I was going to conquer it, but if you already have an army that's there, mine is like five turns away, so I would say go for it. I can just audible out. I'm kind of, if you look at my map, I'm kind of in a, I'm going to become friends with the other vessel up there, is my plan right now. You're talking about Selenra? Yeah, Selenra. Yeah, we do. Okay, okay. Someone, someone on our team should died. conquer it, and if you oh, can conquer it first, then go for it. But one of us should oh. kill that city, like, now. Wait, whose ruler died? My, my ally or no? No, my I, my ruler just died. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's brutal. Well, maybe I won't be conquering this. Okay. Some <laughs> well, yeah, you have time now, because my ruler died. Yeah. It, I think whichever one of us can conquer it first should just take it. Yeah. Because it's so much value. Also, I'm, I'm kind of curious who's the first person to get a vassal uh, free city. Because it might just be like more efficient to conquer a city and, and force vassalize it with our weird banner lord stuff going on. I don't know. Right. I think that would be pretty efficient probably, yeah. So here, here, unfortunately, we have to take Warding Bond. It's a really bad ability in like comparison to something like Rallying game, Blessing or, or um, Summon, a, or if this was Mana Unchained or whatever, but we don't have any game. Materium up here, and we actually <laughs> so, don't really have any Materium in the build um, <laughs> for a long term, oh, a long oh, time. Right. So Look we uh, need to get one, so that way we can get up to uh, Materium units. 1 in our Gosh, Empire Development Tree. That's a really big deal. But now we finally do have a uh, Lightning Sword, which means fighting one is plus one. Or There's plus no two in there. damage. We drew a party. Elemental, so a that's a big deal. A grand festival for mercenaries and no one showed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got it's my birthday. I'm staring this empty rally. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just kind of claustrophobic right now in my current spawn. Oh. So I was going to try and take that city as a city um where could i put a second city now i mean can you oh did you piece you pieced out slag yeah, what yeah. You did. and it looks like hourglass is also trying to piece out slag home you know what? i'm gonna send our our uh crow down into and the underground to see if there's anything down there slag home slag home slag home is my my vassal. Looks like you're also, uh, you, have, you might put a wear space on there as well. I've got you double quarry oh, and really I've got a forester right oh, now. Okay. Um, but my forester is also a mana node, so I'm going to go ahead and take a forester here oh, I could. and switch this over to a <laughs> research post. And then we'll do light forge into Atrium of Light into probably wizard, wizard Tower 1 and then yeah. Academy. And then we should be, oh, and then we should be good to go too, there. So it's okay. Don't, don't, it made me feel better knowing that you. <laughs> also made the mistake. Can you chain warning warding bonds or does it jump just once? I think I think it jumps just once. Um it's generally still like a good thing for us to pick up if we can find it. Uh because it, it is gonna give us more powerful tactical spells to use and we, we just like 
have infinite mana because we started on uh, Tome of Necromancy, so like all yeah, of our all of our mana is just going towards combat. Um, but I, I that's okay. That's that's a feature, not a bug. Oh, oh, okay. So we have an option here to lose ten knowledge per turn for 118 gold. We already have infinite gold. I'm not doing that. Like, yes, we, we have the knowledge to spare nominally, but, like, we also desperately do not need that gold it's easy, right now. but it's always a trap. We'll do that. It's go here. I'm going to go What's for this, this uh, pasture fight here because we do still have mostly full HP on everyone, and so I don't really care I that no. I have to break my ruler off. No. It means we don't get access to uh, the ruler's special abilities, but, like, this is two chat like... ones. This okay, should be like... an easy fight. I have an option to like hire one of these units instead, like as the event, but I oh, can't yeah. remember what's in my stack of units now. Yeah, oh. yeah. And I can't, the, you can't check, and it's like super. The annoying. UI for that is really annoying. Yeah, because it's like it's a it's a uh, it's a support unit. I'm like, do I? I think I have one. I'm not, <laughs> if it's I don't want if two. it's a reasonable support unit at, on like turn seven, like it isn't one that specializes in something that you that you can't use. Then you probably want to pick it up as long as it's an, uh, something you can afford because yeah. like I getting a not, second just... support unit is a big deal if you already had like five then like who cares um but getting up to three pretty quickly is a really important thing because getting getting them to legend rank is enormous So here we have uh, guys who are just like randomly super weak to spirit damage. That's pretty good for us. I love it whenever they're, they're enemies who are just like randomly super weak to spirit damage and rock, rock type Pokemon do a really good job of that. Uh, and I think this is also gonna be just like a good place for us to put probably an outpost. Although, Wait, I'm you know, hmm. this, is, this is awkward because I wanna be able to take... That's gonna be an issue. I want to be able to take that. I want to be able to take that. Yeah, um, No, because I got other stuff to do. No, nah, we need to, we need to, we need to get the gold walker because we're gonna just use so much gold for for building things here. Oh, and we have actually enough population that we can just keep pushing this out. Maybe that's how we that's how we get there because we have imperialist Didoy. All right, sure. Yeah, let's grab a forester, and that gives us even more ways to potentially heal. Yeah. All right. Good. That'll that'll be great. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Let's get and of course because the uh, dragon layers is um, a really big and scary infestation. The things underneath you can loot if you're brave, and we will. Uh, and I guess I guess this one this defender is just gonna keep going north. We're gonna we should have enough troop strength to capture Selenra pretty quickly. What is what does Slimmer actually have here? Oops, all ranged units and no walls. All right, oops, all ranged units and no walls. That's a combination. Boy, howdy. This is actually our our species here. The uh, the immortal light bringers. They're also the initiates of astral. So like, if this if this was if this was in a different position. Where like we were trying to go into playing with animals or something like that. Right now, the fact that no. this is phase beast is actually kind remember. of cool. It is, so I can just stack. Okay, good. Did yeah, you guys already find discussion. Noctis? Did you already take take a city from him? Did Zombie already kill Noctis, and and what we're all hell? just like <laughs> living inside a dream? <laughs> Maybe. Who told you? Good. I knew it. I told you we were playing in reverse. They've already won and we're just going backwards. Oh, cool. The huh. reverse flowing upstream. My people are getting younger. I, I'm, I, I'm here for it. I'm expelling I'm uneaten it. food out of my mouth. Delicious. Oh my <laughs> I did not want to know that. <laughs> so here there's actually another, uh, another banner down there, and if we can combine that with killing this guy, turning this into a morale, city, right? and we're now at two turns for knowledge extraction, so like normally we would want to get our, our second hero what on turn that? six, because that is actually really powerful, but here, because we are doing um, necromancy, the ability to make Am I? Oh. oh no <laughs> out of oh. sync <laughs> maybe maybe that's why 
What did we do? It was a glitch in the matrix. Okay, we're back. It's okay. Uh, is it working? Uh, I'm back. Are you I don't are you winning, winning son? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it's doing stuff. All right, yeah, it's doing stuff for me. I don't know about I'm you guys. Playing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm able to do stuff. Oh, hey, what's up, Daedalus? So right now we are starting a, a new campaign. We're playing uh, a new new necromancy from on high. So we're playing with just like basically regular necromancy stuff with uh, high. And so we're playing with the despicable neutrals combination. I do think that generally speaking, um, you do not need to do the despicable awesome. neutrals combination. You can just find a free city and declare war on them. I promise it works. Uh, but here, oh, it's okay, Daedalus. These things happen. Like we, every yeah. single stream is like this where it's just like one resync re after another and it's the uh it's the multiplayer experience right now we'll we'll get the we'll get better at code I next year or something like that start. hopefully like it's, it's, um, it's a good but for we are playing with necromancy, uh, necromancy and we're trying to yeah. use the necromancy <laughs> here to just like really jump start our early game economy because rather than trying to take yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. um like a, take a, a, a higher level up. hero from the free city by just being friendly with them hiring yeah. Something like and that. then declaring it's war. Terrifying. What we're gonna do oh, here God, what is we're actually Errol. going oh. to resurrect. Oh their wait, did I hero. accidentally tech rush? I think I'm accidentally tech yeah. rushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tech rushing what are you, what are you doing, Winsaya? You're not allowed to do that. Tech rushing? What? I got two ancient wonders that give me tech right now. <laughs> you got them back to back. Were these both like f ones you cleared for free? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no. Winslay is, is opening a brand new channel to hell. He actually knows the the free the free wonder clears. This is a disaster. I, I can't imagine how many of them I've just walked by. <laughs> yeah, I, the there's got to be a billion of, of them. So Winslay, if you haven't seen it, guys, you really do need to watch this video. There's a video which he just did where he shows which ancient wonders you can clear for free. Um, as in, like, you do not have to fight them. There are some classes, like the Temple of the God or anything that looks like this, you you have to fight them, or you get to fight them. You know, like, there's some value to fighting free those, uh, those, those things. Lots of experience points and resources and stuff. But, um, there's also just, like, a lot of different, uh, Ancient Wonders that you can clear without you fighting clear at all. The, We've done the, um, the one... With the, the queen's the queen's chamber or something like that we've done that multiple no, times because that is actually quite powerful yeah, it affords you just oh, gigantic no, amounts of of item levels really quickly but there are a couple i don't see any of them near here when say how did you hack the game to like do all of them near you because i i don't remember what they're called but i remember what they just look random. like and there's none of them here. There's absolutely nope. none of them. You remember the silver one. That's all I think I, you know off the top of your no, head. No, no, no. Right? I know that there's I know that there's um the the one that you can give them a whole bunch of gold to buy the 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 functional slaves. And then and then there's the there's the one that looks like the Gorgon layer. Maybe it's the Gorgon layer, but there's yeah, one okay. that looks like the you Gorgon layer. They can s sacrifice some population. So I know it's like the the ones that look like that, but I don't know any of the words on them. I can't read. So uh, there's been another one that uh, like down right of you and so like the, I mean loves Olo. Like you just wait, wait, really? I didn't a, see that one yet. You didn't see that. <laughs> I mean, you could. Where's that one? Just pull up his video yeah, and open up the more and just look at the list. That's you know what, Gracie? I'm mean, gonna do exactly that. Do That's that. a great idea. But That's like, exactly what I'm gonna do. It could be right there on your other monitor right now. I'm I don't have another monitor. What at, sort of so what, what do you what do you mean other monitor? <laughs> Wait, I still haven't found the hollow one. Is, you said it, we can see uh, it. Right it now? It's not. Oh, I mean, right. I see. I'm, I'm, I'm actually sure legitimately gonna do that. I'm gonna look up Winslay Gaming. I'm gonna look like up his video. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna leave it open, Sarah and I'm gonna have the uh, the more open there, and just use that to to help me 
for now yeah, while I, I still figure out what the hell these things are called. All right, so it's Eternal Bed Chambers, Lost Queen's Crypt, see, Reaper's Hollow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, those oh, are the yeah, silvers. Yeah, There's Bannerless but... Keep, Fortress of Tears, and Fortress it's of good to Woe. Know that's your vassal, I had Shatter's Call Keep, it. Ogre's Keep, and Demogiant oh, okay. yeah, I mean, <laughs> Slither's Den, <laughs> Serpent <laughs> Caverns, and Gorgon's Lair. All right, so there's there's actually there's a lot of them you can do that for. I'm right. I'm oh, right. Get it. Wait, who's <laughs> Winslayer? Stop gonna cheating. End your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Like what thing? Sorry, I, I have actually cleared all of my things because I have to keep pushing push the talk. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> but yeah, Winslayer is, is really using his time. uh his his study his studious <laughs> advantage to um really power through a lot of bronze ancient wonders here, and we have just like a bizarre bizarre front. Look at this, this is nonsense. And this is unfortunately, although it is a size six population city, which is great for us, it is only a tier one. So we'll we'll conquer that. Um, absorb it, and then I guess Desia has this Lover's Spring. Um, I, I think he's going to need to go underground. I think that's what it's going to boil down to. Or across the sea. I think that's actually not reason not unreasonable. Across the sea is a good what place to be. Doing there. Alright, so we actually, because we are delaying this and, and not taking an early hero, but rather getting our hero through Whiteborn um, animating Salimra yeah, here, we actually stop. have the ability to pick up the Shadow 1 perk before stop killing. losing only good. the evolving units in auto combat. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, it's tough. Like, I think at a certain point you start realizing that it's worth it to just, like, not bring evolution units to every single fight. Sometimes you just, you, it's correct to just, uh, leave them out of like free city attacks it wasn't a hard fight uh, oh, it, yeah it's been Sometimes two, the two fights i've lost an evolution unit yeah all right so here <laughs> we if we had enough time to take um the infestation clearing thing pacification like maybe we would do that for the extra opinion here with triway because we don't get a lot of, of like bonus growth um due to Whispering Stone, because of the, the Free City modifier. But we would get a lot of bonus growth out of having High Opinion. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna delay conquering Salunra for a turn. If we, if we really, really, really want to do that, um, then, then we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll get that later. There's gonna be infestations and other Free Cities for us to conquer. for my Animist, oh my! Somebody should go look at that combat. I wish I could watch what happened there. I went and used a Blizzard on something that was super weak because it had some, uh, resistance. And I was like, this should be fine. There's barely any units, like a hundred strength. It almost oh. killed the Animus from, like, full health. Oh, gee. Oh, two, no. Two, two out of seven to do. <laughs> Yeah, you 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 tempted the auto fate gods. That's what happened, Winslayer. Yep. The the alt focus fire on that one. So here, I yeah, I think that this is actually fine for Spirit Hawk. Spirit Hawk is one of those things that I hate getting from animal summoning, but I actually really like getting from animal cages, uh, especially if you're gonna be like just running a really big economy. And one of the one of the advantages here of of a high imperialist is that your economy is just really big. City. Uh, I should have built a I should have built an outpost here. I walked right through this right through this and did not build an outpost. Well, I'll fix that next turn. Because here what we're gonna do is gonna drop that down and then conquer Cylindra. We'll take this hero who hopefully levels up before we kill them. I mean if they don't and we get them and we get them as like that far along and then we can whiteboard them, um, that's good enough. And then we can, and then we just start pushing west because he's. This has got to be the direction that Noctis is in, as well as the other team. Like just looking at where the map is when you scale out. Like Noctis and the other team have to be over here or underground. And there's, uh, I think I did small underground. I'm this not actually sure. Is if I did wild! I never played a large map. Like there's yeah. so much water inland as well. Like, I'm like surrounded by water. It's almost an island for me. I think I think you got to take. Um, basic seafaring yeah i might have because i think yeah. you're right it's like this is not a you, you're gonna need to it's not enough this is also you just got hosed by by these weird mountains too yeah i have like a, um adept settlers as well and nowhere to settle I yeah guess, like, the most ridiculous claustrophobic 
situation. Yeah, Add Up Settlers is unfortunately like yeah. way worse. Uh, it's yeah, not kinda, bad, like, but it is way there. worse now. So they changed Add Up Settlers um, in regards to the way they get their free city cap. It, now they just get the first tick on expanded governance, which gives them plus one uh, extra city cap. But the other one, like it used to be just getting a plus one city cap from your uh, base. And so it left the cost of the first tick of this at 200. And so it meant that you actually got like more Imperium from the, the trait as the game went on. The way that it works now, you mostly just get like 300 Imperium in a short game from it, like just flat. And then sometimes the game goes long enough that it turns up to like 600 but it's it's pretty rare that it that it pays off like enormous enormous amounts of of imperium it, in in comparison to things like scions of evil uh add up settlers really is a lot worse i think i think it used to be probably too good but now it's a little underpowered it's probably probably still a b tier though like there are a lot of traits that are, are like indefensibly not, topic, not, not good say what i don't know what their social security number is just throw that uh, out there. it is 69 69 420 oh that's places. so funny mine's 420 oh my god seriously yeah <laughs> we must be brothers oh my god and then the, the government knows mm -hmm. all right so here we have successfully like completed the right number the, of digits well, Pretty you just cool. you just haven't counted correctly, but that, that's understandable. Counting is hard. Okay, well, I know you're joking, but now you have me questioning. <laughs> Good. Uh, hmm. All right, so let's go here. We'll throw up this outpost. The outpost is going to connect these territories and therefore turn on Imperialist for, for our Slinra as soon as we take it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Did... Desia, did you see this? The turn that my army gets here, what does Solinra do? Oh. Uh, they spawn another stack and they didn't start with walls. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the, the literal turn. Oh my god. This is the trolliest free died. city in the universe. <sighs> Man, free Solinra, Solinra, you are really just getting on my nerves all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna send a bait stack up um so here we are far enough away that this unit cannot reinforce into this army and we're inside Solinra's territory so hopefully the uh the the secondary stack that they spawned here is going to go in and try to attack us and then we'll take that auto resolve and then conquer them next turn it's annoying that we can't do it at the same turn but this means that we actually get a second hero and so this means we have two heroes of our uh type just like sitting around also, this might be an opportunity for us to be able to pull wow, an Necromancer into that fight next turn. We'll see. Controls. I really hate that. <laughs> um, but I guess I'm going to take one Daylight two Spear. Fights, so do magic <laughs> like one. Mm. I mean, you can fight Mind Controls. It's not... The, they don't automatically kill you. Sometimes your AI successfully identifies that they should kill the Mind Controller. And sometimes they don't. <laughs> it's just... Yeah. Are you feeling lucky, Punk? That's the thing. I'm not feeling lucky, Punk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got our Academy now under production, and we should be able to take that next turn and then have it incorporated on, like, turn 15, which is ridiculously slow. But because this is coming as size 6... Oh, I and like cool, I've we got a level 4. He so leveled up. King's Load, you've got to the, to the northeast... You've got two different provinces that have like this craggly like thorns and mushrooms or something. And I feel like I've yeah. never seen those little things before. And they don't seem to do anything. But they're yeah, kind of cool. Are I don't know. And there's another yeah, and I was like I don't think they are any they're just like doodads. It's like part of the nature. Yeah. The art direction in this game is so good. Is it they it's changed, ridiculous. Uh, uh, forest uh, appearance for some uh, land types. In That's lots, super uh, cool. I like that. Okay, so it's possible I haven't actually seen this before. 
Yeah. Because at a glance, yeah. it looks like something is like if you zoom oh, in. Really okay. Hard, you okay. Out, All right. Well, of, <laughs> never mind. The the rule, they're just gonna go to attack Desia. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's super cool. It's like a little craggly, thorny area. Okay, so Desia, um, that that uh, stack apparently decided to go attack you instead. So it's it's coming up mm. your way, even perfect, though I, I literally put units in fr in their territory <laughs> to provoke them. I love it. They're That's they're good. the most NPC they could be. They really are. Attack enemy. I'm like I'm here. I'm inside your land. Please yeah. fight me. <laughs> All right, so here um, we are gonna just like face attack this this stack because it is a, a defense. There's no walls, and so it's not gonna be as scary. But there are th there's a lot of uh, range units there, and because there's just so many range units and it is a defense, you want the 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 front line as stacked as you can get, so that we can nope. hopefully minimize the losses here. Awesome, great, we got it, and we even killed that that guy. Good, good, good. If we if we'd captured them, we still would have killed them anyway. It's just that we would have been forced to go through the hoops of, uh, oh, ooh, oh baby. Well, there is a Shrieker's tomb. Well, there is a Shrieker's tomb. And there's a channeling tower. So this is actually going to be a really great city for us in terms of, of economic development. It's unfortunate that it's it's coming without walls, but that's something that we can fix pretty quickly. I don't know about Shrieker's Tomb. We That's not one of the ones that we can clear for free, but if we take these fights here, we might be able to clear it. It's just it would require us to get... Um, nah, we're going to go to Eternal Bed Chambers. Never mind. All right. Yawn in the chat. Walker's going to Eternal Bed Chambers again. This is the way it goes. Like, if you're gonna put it near me, and Winslay apparently is getting like buried in value over in okay. in Winslay oh. land, no way. We're we're getting out of here. Oh. We're gonna go. We're going oh. to the bed chambers. All right. Whoever put halflings on this planet, you're in trouble. Oh, oh yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Let's see. Uh, I guess we could take another forester here or another quarry, because um, we actually are doing fine in terms of our our gold. Yeah, I'm just gonna take another quarry. Yeah, we have three quarries now, which is a little excessive. But I I want to just get this academy done and then as much production overflow into a uh, wizard tower one knowledge. as we can. 117. Actually, that's not that good, is it? I think that's I think that's solid. That's better than where turn, I am right now. Half. I haven't I haven't taken over uh, my second city yet because of this nonsense. I'm gonna take experience leader here because we actually do have um, some units that we can be leveling up. Like we haven't lost our support unit yet, and like that's something you need to keep in mind that the value of uh, the different support units is gonna change as you get access to, to different things. But here we can we can animate our it, second it, it hero. The same gold in the, level four. Uh, it's gonna come in location. with Whiteborn, which means it's gonna play really well with Necromancers. Um, and I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just drop a... I'm not sure I know the... What are you talking about? Just like a golden tree event location? Uh, no, no I mean, like the, there's a big tree in the, in the map. Here no, normally, I think it's To a, exploit it's that the, sparkling uh, thicket, because that uh, could actually be waters. a really solid I mean, um, next city, and I don't know if we have the, the the Imperium for it. There so yeah, maybe we just drop that here, clear the sparkling thicket, and then that's a, the that's a low quality third city, but it's a third city. Like and then that's like a so medium three quality. Names that all do the same. Desia, you should also like look west of Slagholm because there is an Eternal Bed Chambers there. Uh oh, they're finding yeah. them now. Uh oh, go find I'm it. I'm so far away from that. I'm trying to. Get over there. I mean, if you don't like have time to get to some of those directions, I th I think I can. I, it's just like I'm gonna go I'm gonna go west a little bit first because I wanna I wanna find some of them. I wanna find any of them first. Yeah, I have to go in that direction really to place a city. So yeah, that's gonna happen. Let's see. I mean, I might take a, a city by this trigger's tome here. I'm not sure. But I think I think our our combination of things, we're we're gonna need to reset this uh, this this, this hero like ASAP. Uh, but I think having a, a couple of guys rocking and rolling with battle mages early is not a bad thing. Uh, don't have 
Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Wow, there's just like a, an enormous backyard over here. Holy if crap. If you want me to send you gold, I have a little surplus, but that is annoying. Um, no, no, I... I'm sorry. I'm, it's a I'm kind of astonished how much how much space is over there and how little space is available to, to Pordesia here. But I think I think he needed to go ahead and conquer Slagholm rather than well, try to piece it out. That I've I think done that thing where I've perfectly spent my Imperium down to zero. Uh, good, good. Probably be the last time in the game I have exactly zero and a nice round number like that. Because eventually I'm gonna have something stupid like 67. Did you uh you see Spirit Spring over there? Oh, you're gonna piece them. Yes. Yeah. Look at the I'm, fucking oh. mountain range. I, I mean, oh, you can get you can get there by just getting seafaring. I think I think seafaring is actually defensible on this map. Mm -hmm. um, I got it because I'm uh, I'm actually out of like if you look at the map where I am, it's yeah. pretty clear what I need to do. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you can't get through these mountains without seafaring. This is really wild, actually, for a Pangea map. I've only played it a couple of times, but it's not usually so this cramped. It's going to be weird if we attack each other and not Noctis because of the... I'm guessing they have a similar situation where it's like you either go by water or you go by the choke points or you go over the mountains and it takes you seven turns. Really interesting. Yeah. In the uh, in the uh, the seals fight one that I set up, I gave us coasts rather than Pangea. But then to balance it, so that way, like if you want to Hannibal people, there's a cost. I put the uh, the storms on. I think I think that's an interesting thing for multiplayer. Yeah, that storm thing is brutal. Yeah, like if if you want to backdoor people, you can, but you got to march your animal, your elephants over the Alps. Like it's gonna be costly. Yeah. Mm. All right, so you, Dawn Defender, are so badly beaten up that you need to go heal. Um, sometimes it's correct to let them just die and sometimes it's correct to try to preserve them and here in this multiplayer universe i think we want to preserve them yeah. uh, walker well it would have been nice to put those two together so that way they could both benefit from experience leader but that is not the universe that we are living in so we're not going to do that um but we are going to be able maybe to get that production stash this turn that seems possible that seems possible Let's see. Let's let's grab this um let's grab this underground tile and we'll use that for the sparkling thicket. And I guess yeah, we will go ahead and see if we can grab that production. Oh, no, it's defended. All right. Well, never mind. Get a little bit of extra production or defense experience on our this on our guy. In this cutest little space. Oh, and there's a Saving dark you. layer in a oh, I forgot there's a banner over here too. Woo woo. Woo woo woo. Well, 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 well. This is interesting. The fact that there is a <laughs> layer <Queen's> here. <coughs> Wind Slayer's <coughs> video says, <coughs> Lost Queen's Crypt. <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's like the only one that I regularly remember. <laughs> Slagholm has sent coughing. a war party. Don't tell them. Slagholm has sent a war party. But, but you're being vassalized. The king's load. <laughs> I hate it. All right. Well, we we might be getting raised by um, the uh, the the vassal of uh, Desi, our ally here, for a little bit, but it's not actually vassalized yet, so that's understandable. Um, that's okay. That's fine. That's I'll play between everybody and and everybody's uh, live chat. Yawn. Yeah. Yep. I'll just do it again. Infectious yawning. Oh, there you go, everybody. That's cruelty. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I'm going to check to see what's in the sparkling thicket. The, we have the, the, like extra the, movement the, points on this hero because okay, it's just moving around all whatever. on its own. Still do not um, understand why we do so that. I don't have a problem with that. Like they cannot figure out what what makes us. I'm going to take a second because we have so much. Sympathetic, yawn. Sympathetically yawn. And I guess whenever we get I to working, 
on our it'll, it'll um, always be a mystery, right? Yeah, town, uh, yeah, yeah our wizard tower level well one. Too. We'll start yeah. switching things over to oh, set up for a, a tavern because we want to get back up to city stability too, so we can keep our growth like growing. Yawning, you know, if you're, if you're like stretching, like thing, most of the time, you really do not care about stability. Your, it is like usually a dead stat, but here because we are playing as neutral alignment high, we do want to do our best to make sure that our city stability stays at least the level two positive stability because that's plus twenty production and plus. 20 food yeah, really just, important for population yeah, growth usually we don't um and we can get there pretty have... easily with just a tavern oh, no. we just need two farms things. to flash in and then flash out this schedule I just... where Let's see there's a i mean quarry. wait you're not on my team but well, tell me where you are and where noctis is. yeah uh, uh <laughs> we, noctis we'll, is we'll come fight him noctis, for you noctis is literally um on my my borders already <laughs> oh no oh. okay well <laughs> you're gonna have to evade him for a little while i suppose uh-huh you think <laughs> i mean he's not impossible to fight with with friends and allies all right, yeah, so right. here we're definitely not going to go with the oh, uh, reflective mage it. power because Ow. the fact that this is a 470, <laughs> I guarantee you there's going to be some... Um, no, but I had plans that oh, are kind of like... I'm, there's I'm, not I'm probably, a, uh, trash a magic origin mirror unit here. Rather, there's living fog. So here's where uh, starting with Phantasm Warriors would actually be, have been really solid because oh, Phantasm oh, Warriors kind of just like walk through that, that combat. But did our, did our extra dude start with Lightning Evocation? No, he just went into fire evocation instead but we have a lightning sphere um yeah we have a lightning sphere all right cool so i think we can take that fight pretty easily because we do have the correct elemental damage oh and we have a lightning sword too yeah so we can dominate that the thicket no problem all right well in that case let's uh let's go fight it let's go here and grab a little bit of extra exp on those guys i'm gonna bring the necromancer in for that fight too and the other the other hero is so far away that i'm just not gonna bother pretending like i can get them there in time i don't want that get way too here. far away i don't want to play with you anymore wait a second why, did I why are you not there? auto <laughs> the fuck's wrong with me auto like there it is i could have sworn that i clicked Sweet. that but you know, life is a mystery sometimes, I suppose. Nice, nice. You are still in range to get to that fight. Good. So we'll have you go here. And then I guess we'll take not the Necromancer, because the Necromancer is beaten up enough. God, that thing is scary. Um, oof. And yeah, you can come in, and I guess we'll bring Wait, just what are you those. doing in there? <laughs> Look at this dragon's lair. Like the, one of these things doesn't belong. Hi guys. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello there, Hello. dark orcs. <laughs> Greetings. All right. So Sophie. wizard tower one, and then uh, those by. things will beep, switch beep, over beep, to farms. Beep. We'll be able to start a tavern. Let's grab. So we found. I think that's zombie. Yeah, that zombie. We found zombie. So now the uh, the real fighting begins. We have on zombie side. It looks like he's running. Oh no, you guys don't have elephants your on, on dark How again. To spam things and be annoying. <laughs> zombie, like... you and your you and your dark. Yeah, primal culture units do not win auto resolves as well as they they probably should, and it's primarily because they don't think that they're like really abusing things the way that you can in manual combats. Um, which is one of those things that I think is like fine. Like you know, it, if you have a very very powerful build for manual combat that does not perform as well in in uh, auto resolves, like if you're enjoying it, have fun. Uh, we have to let them go, unfortunately, because I think we need. This is another one of these UI things, like. Am I? What's my? What's my alignment? Uh -huh. <laughs> what's what's yeah, my alignment right now? Is this gonna push me over to the next level or ruin it or like? Yeah, yeah. I, I like I I guessed correctly that it was um negative five because I had declared war on a free city, but like you you can show people that information if you're if you're offering me the opportunity to to ride some spiders down or whatever. You're yeah, not gonna hurt really anybody. Be, like I get why they don't want you to be able to. 
make other decisions, but you should be able to look around. Yeah, and just to not see information. do anything else. Yeah. yeah. Like, I get, like, that's supposed to be happening in a vacuum and, and for, like, thematic purposes. Like, you know, if you need a certain amount of resources, it would be kind of a little gamey for you to, like, oh, go home and clear out this and this and then and then you have it and then go back and just pretend that they stood around for two hours while you took care of it. But, like, I do, like, just let me look at my alignment. Let me look at my army comp. Yeah, let me look at things. That's okay. It's not going to hurt anybody. Maybe there's something about the way they coded it to do those little events that makes it so that you can't... I, I don't know. I'm not saying it's unfixable, but maybe they coded themselves into a spot where they can't easily fix it. It's it's Schrodinger's events. If you, like, look at it, the cat dies. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. I think... That's, uh, that's my Schrodinger's auto-combat. If, if you do the auto-combat, your evolve units die. Yeah, I think but if here I don't do the combat, I'm gonna basically keep just like dropping random outposts down because we just have so much gold right now either. that like I'm not afraid of it. Um, and setting no, up just like a right. big network of outposts, <laughs> I think, is actually really important. Where, uh, it's gonna be really yes. critical. Do you not see it on my on my? Uh, I, yeah, if we're if we're gonna yeah, if we're gonna get uh, into I this fight against Noctis, because it, it sounds like Noctis, Noctis spawns uh, closer to the other team um, yes, than to us, like <laughs> which is a problem for us. <laughs> this is this is exactly it means where, the fight, what I thought would happen to me. I think I think you're underestimating that this. I think this is a great opportunity opportunity for you, Winsaya. You're closer to the win condition. Yes. This is, this is I mean, like, mostly true. upside. And Noctis is actually weakest if you attack him with only a single player. Um, it's like a, it's a hidden thing in the game. It's so. a hidden thing? Yeah. <laughs> I think That's we like, see him as yeah. well. He's up by your scout. Um, your bird scout. Aha! Uh -huh. Nur Nurgle. Walker. Oh, hey, you're right. You're absolutely right. There he is. Okay. But he is still a little closer to them. Like, it's not wildly lopsided, but he's yeah. a little closer. Okay. Yeah, he's a little closer. But, you know, if we can start stuffing just, like, random things oh, into yeah, this big, this, uh, empty valley <laughs> here this, uh, and then move here uh, and try to take him out, I think we can be in a good spot. Good spot. Hey, how's it going? Well, we're playing a multiplayer game here um, with Gracian and Winslaya and Desia and... Um, I forget who else is here. Zombie is here and maybe... Bed S. Flowers? I don't know who that is. Oh, one of Winsaya's friends. One of Winsaya's in real life friends. Uh, but we're having a good time. We're. I think I'm about to take... Oh, no, I'm not about to take the Eternal Bend Chambers and recruit locally, but that's okay. I think it's still worth taking. Yeah, I think it's still worth taking. So we're going to go to Bed Chambers, and we're going to cheese it like we mean it. Explore. I give you the essence of the people of Sunspire. And now we're evil temporarily, which is dangerous because we do need to get our alignment back up. Um, but we're going to take Moldy, the gold handed, for now, just because we are going to get access to just like a ridiculous number of items that way. And it's another Whiteborn hero, too. Um, and given that we're already doing necromancy, that's not like awful. Although my understanding is that when the, the necromancy queen dies, that all of her necromancy units also die, which isn't great. I don't know if that's an in, a working as intended thing or not. I actually um, see Noctis himself. Check this out. You see him? Oh my god. He's on the water by my scout up here in the north. Oh no. Oh yeah, he sure is. This is like a random level 11 with a level 1 staff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and no equipment. And no equipment. Right. This is what I mean. Like, he's, he's, Winslay, he's, he's scared for nothing, Winslay. He's a weirdo. <laughs> I just like to be scared. It's uh... <laughs> he likes he likes being afraid. I love being afraid. It's a cool pain mechanism. <laughs> yeah. Um, you yeah, know he what? just has better survival instincts than us. This is actually, I think, a pretty reasonable location for another <laughs> yeah, it, another city back. up here. I probably should have dropped a put old Imperium. What should an I do with you? somewhere? But I guess here is actually probably Nothing? the best outpost. Oh, that's right. Some idiot designed this faction to have like one of every fit. You can't do anything. <laughs> I mean, that's not a terrible place to be. You just need to 
get more of other affinities eventually too. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not bad if you just change it to be something else. <laughs> what? Why do I have a random like quest link on a spot on the map? Because Man, as soon true. as you get the quest to kill the special NPC, it'll pop up over where your hero was or your leader was, oh. and it'll stay there for the rest of the game. Oh, okay. I have that. I have that as well. Yeah. It's, All right. Uh, it's, That's stupid. it's silly. Silly, but whatever. Yeah. That way you They're can look at it constantly anybody. and be like, "What the hell's going on here?" All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and take that fight because our, our heroes are not here. Like, oh, yeah, like right. I'm not gonna be yeah, yeah, trying to concentrate experience points as much um, <laughs> and just trying to limit the losses. And we could potentially wait for our, our hero to show up, but I I think in this case, just momentum is driving us towards Noctis. And I want to see if we can just take this army straight to him. If we can take this army, supplement it with uh, some corrupt souls and maybe some bone horrors along the way, and then just pop him on the nose i think that'll be pretty good i think that will be pretty good let's see um i guess this non defender is gonna go we're gonna keep pushing our scouting in this direction i want to see i want to see where the other team is and if any of them are like underground or anything like that because that, that that would be pretty annoying We're so we're so close. This we're two turns away from Phantasm over there, uh, to the east of you, uh, Nurgle. Yeah, there's Where, like an entire uh, like the scout is half of an empire could get stuffed in there. I I'm not going in that direction. I'm going towards Noctis. If you guys need space and need to backfill that area, then please feel free. Mm -hmm. that, that is a pretty good spot. It's just so cut yeah. off from everything. It's cut off from everything, and it's in the opposite direction of everybody else. So, like, it's not high priority for me. It's very high quality land, but it this is not an, an eight player free for all. And there's like the most impossible rivers of all time. <laughs> this mountain yeah. going up. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> well, the river is coming down from the mountains and then flowing out to the sea, right? It, well, at least it's doing that, but there's like. <laughs> it's like defying gravity in so many ways along its path. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty wild. This, this little like like hoof shaped island with the river is going around. It doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, there's some George R. R. Martin shit going on in there. Oh my god. Every year when I go to Gen Con, I go see this. Uh, there's this guy, a professor from Ball State University in Indiana, who goes to Gen Con and gives talks. Uh, lectures on um, mm. you know they're what? called like I'm mountains 2.0, forest 2.0, swamps 2.0, and it's just he's a geologist and he just talks about how you can combine um, topographical things with gaming, like for like tabletop gaming, like D and D. So he'll be talking about like, oh, these are the different types of rivers and how they work and how you could use that for your gaming sessions. But then, like, he basically never actually connects it to the gaming part. So it's just a lecture about geography. <laughs> oh, good. Perfect. And I've been to, like, literally 15 of his talks. That's my favorite thing. Top 10 anime betrayals. It's it's the random teach people how to human guy. <laughs> He's my favorite. I have a I have a framed photo on my shelf right I'm looking at it right now of me, him, and my spouse. <laughs> oh perfect. <laughs> oh, I love that guy. Alright, so here I'm gonna take He knows us now too, because we've we've talked to him so many times, so funny. Yeah. I'm gonna take our, our hero into this like, fight. He's like kinda um, old, so he's just kinda like he's just like a like a guy. He's just like a guy. Like yeah. The best way to yeah. Let's build a guy. Yeah. This is the guy. Oh my God! What are stop spawning? Are we, how close are we to this? We are six turns away from Materium One. That's that's too far away for us to wait. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take uh, this tile as our outpost to throw that bed chambers on, and then this is gonna be another city right here. Is this? still gonna be another city walker is that still gonna be another city walker because here you've gotten your second city and it's big 
and it's very low quality because it has been mismanaged, but it can be fixed up as long as we devote the appropriate resources to it. Look at this thing. It doesn't even have an artisan workshop. AI, oh, you, oh, you oh, jokester. All right, let's just get all these farms off immediately. It would be nice to pretend like we could that. use them um, to build a, a tavern here because I do want to get our, our stability up, what but like that's, that's never going to happen. Not not in not in this current time frame for you, Salunra. Um, but we could take more daylight spears. Well, actually, we haven't even like yeah, really lost a lot. Oh my god, I'm so. <laughs> it's not like I'm even high priority for what me. I'm doing. What are you doing? Uh, I I sent. Uh, it's a long story. I was shuffling units around between armies. And then I, this turn, I like noticed an, a unit like in the middle of nowhere by itself. So I moved it to an army and I was like, wait, fuck, I was supposed to be putting him like, that's what I, that's why he was alone. He was going somewhere. Oh no. That's, that's okay. It's just an evolved unit. He'll be dead soon anyway. Yeah. All right. So now we've detached one of our Dawn defenders to go heal. I think, I think this one we probably don't even need to bring to this fight either um the question is do we need it for this fight and i don't think the answer i don't think we need favorite to favorite culture i think like thematically or mechanically i had a feeling i would have to specify that um or your choice. you know dealer's choice yeah how about both and they can be the same <laughs> Oh no, our daylight spear. All right, well we can replace that. I'll go the, first. They they like, are mostly just mechanically. Make them I like high. high. I think the awaken mechanic is really fun and gives you yeah. a lot of really interesting things you can do in combat. It's a little fiddly, um, but I do think it's really fun uh, and interesting thematically. I think I, God, I I think I have to give my heart out to the reavers. I just, I love my Dreadnought so boys much. from A Joinders 3. God damn it, Walker. And, uh, you research that yeah, chat. About How could you let me do this? Annihilating a unit. <laughs> it's so fun. How could you let me do this? The sound research soul collection to yeah. cast it. Really good. And they've got great um, looking armor. I'm saving mana or gold. Too, for, in my opinion. Yeah, the the Dreadnoughts, I, like, I want to see, I want to see how we can get them to work in, um, in empire mode like this but the skirmish mod we we've been seeing a lot of dreadnoughts recently and they've been fun there i don't know about like mm -hmm. really really powerful or anything like that but they've been fun i love how much space they take up in their hex <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> they're like <laughs> triumph is at least we had another daylight spear actually on already on the board spot, so i don't care but the, they keep getting pretty much at all that one died <laughs> Can you guys make it all the way up because there? Dreadnought clearly takes up like. You can make it all the way up there. All right, cool. Good, 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 good. Yeah, that looks like a right, reasonable stack. That's five against five. I think that's all right. right. I, I'm like obligated to accept the um, uh, eye culture as being a really, really good mechanically because I'm playing it. Oh, I see. Is this enough? But honestly, We've got a I, lot I really of like range stuff here. Because there's a mod that I'm not a big a, fan of that, but we do have a crow master. Really this like, is like oops, all zealots. It's like the damage output uh, here is really high, but we don't have anyone who's actually in the in the fight. It, it so like I'm not the, super uh, afraid uh, of that. We could potentially uh, lose uh, a unit or two, knights. but yeah, so instead you, we you just red line. Big French cavalry. Good, good. Okay, like Teutonic style, like heavy, super heavy armor. That's awesome. Yeah, super heavy cavalry is just cool and everything. The French really did create some pretty incredible technology in the medieval era for uh, for military use. Grizzly bear. My, oh, one of the most fascinating things to me is their um, their crossbows units. Is they would they would carry these big heavy shields yeah. on their backs, and then they yeah. would they would fire their crossbows and they would turn, crouch down, and reload, what? and then they would just That's basically right. form a shield wall protecting their backs. Well, they were uh, French or Genoese. I think the French had them, but you could be right. It could be somebody else. But uh, uh, that, yeah, that was a, they were. Did it yeah, it was a, wide, a widespread innovation. At, after it was very point. slow, so obviously they were pretty yeah. pretty fucked when ca they are even more fucked than usual if cavalry came to them. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was such an interesting idea. You you can't lose a ranged fight really if you've got. If half of the time you're you're, you're invulnerable, <laughs> that's a that's actually an adaptation of a, like a, 
really really ancient styles of warfare like in india it, like during the vedic sagas what you know the people know about charioteering because that was like a really important part of that if, if you've read them but the the main bulk of the peasant army was dudes with like bamboo shields or just you know mm-hmm. like b- bunches of sticks that are bound together into sure. a square and then other people with bows and, and other people with sticks with points on the end and that's actually like fundamentally the way that a lot of those gigantic mass um mass levy armies operated in the ancient world was was with weapons that were relatively easy to get into the hands of people and relatively yep. easy to create like synergies between yeah that's why spearmen have been so classic yeah. frontline units for spearmen OP. almost all of history because you can you can give a pointy object to a, a guy and be like, walker. hold this pointy end towards the that others. Way. You see where I see you, or no? I yeah, I, I see you. You wanna you wanna fight my uh, you wanna fight my my bird with your bird? bird Actually, I just remembered I can't summon any word. It's just where I want now. <laughs> yeah, it's just where you want now. Are you uh, are you running? Yeah, I think I have to because I don't have the summon rig as close as I want it to be. All right. Be gone, Eagle Rider. Lest auto resolve oh, take you. Noctis, hello. I see your stacks moving towards me. Hello, hello. All right, so <laughs> here, away, uh, Go actually, we could. What? You, you see you... one army at a time coming next to your to your army. <laughs> Wins. Oh. Oh. All right. So we are at war with Hostile with farmers. Deep well. What in this cool. economy? Yeah. Whose joke did I steal? I mean, it's not like I don't make that joke either. I, but like, I don't think that there's such thing as joke. as that as being someone's joke. No, no, no. Michael Scott. Uh, if Michael Scott can coin <laughs> that's what she said, then uh, you can you can coin. Uh, you, you can coin uh, in, this in this economy. economy. <laughs> I just realized how my faction works and I have to get a specific time. Oh, now. <laughs> dang. All right. So here we do have chaos okay. one, um, but we just reached the the requirements for it. And there's only one. Well, no, there's a dragon Perfect. layer there and a small monster going down up there. It is only turn Millhouse. 16. What? So like it is possible for us to, to make some, some right, good progress there. All right. I we're going to take no tavern um, just so we can get yes. our, our stability back up to, to green face. Because we want to be at uh, plus 20 in everything. That's pretty important. And I guess I guess here we really are still just like growing, growing, growing. So I, I guess I'm going to take... Um, so I'm going to take that mine. Oof, got some work to do in the water. So I'm going to take Jeez. that mine. This this is like right along the border with our, our ally, Desia. But that's okay. It's a, it's a fine place to be. I'm gonna buy that out. We'll throw a library down. Sorry, what does that one do? God, this thing produces so slowly. Uh, oh, sick! It's because we just have stable production, so we're, we're not getting like. I cannot remember what there. any of the magic materials except for rainbow clover does. Have... Oh, I also don't. Uh, yeah, but like, just check in the the magic materials and click on them. Like, you you don't no, have I to do. remember that. The but game every, the game I remembers never, it for I can you. Never remember what they do. Yeah. Like, oh hell yeah, blah blah blah. It probably does something. <laughs> I, I, the only one I remember is Tranquility Pool. So that's the best one. I don't even remember what that does. It's minus, uh, like, 20% on research speed or something like that. It's crazy. Oh, that seems really good. It's bananas. All right, so here, I'm, I'm okay actually taking... Um, no, no. Am I okay bringing no front line into this? I don't think so, because we have both of our, our like, relative high supports I didn't there. I, city down. I, know it. I don't want to, I don't want to lose those. Welcome. I'm sorry I put this city here. I actually what? thought you were just going to keep that as a vassal. Oh, no, you're good. So, I, so this is, this is not a, a, like, 70 turn thing. Like, go ahead and make yeah. Palisade. As long as you're, as long as you can take that Shrieker's Tomb and, like, actually yeah. secure everything to the east of that, that's fine, because Salinra's already size 7. It was not going to be able to use that space reasonably to the east of it yeah there, that's space for another city as long as you as long as you have the resources to develop it go crazy so 
So here, I guess we're gonna just Holy keep crap. scouting and see if we can find their cities. Zyre like, is gonna have a uh, pretty like, powerful yeah. army if we get some evolutions. Of course, you're also gonna be bankrupt, but it's gonna be pretty sick. Good. I like that. Sick That's and right. bankrupt is a great place to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Agreed. Yay, the bubonic fire. All right, so we're going to turn this one just straight oh, into um, a city as soon as it drops. Dude, yeah, as soon as it drops, we're going to put turn that into a city. And then I guess after that, we're, we are going to work on this into a city. Um, but that requires going here and then bouncing south. Well, I mean, there's Noctis, but I don't know if we're strong enough to fight Noctis on our own. So, yeah, I am going to do work coffee. camp. And then we're, we're not even bother with work camp and then just get no, no. Uh, oh, extra okay. population oh, military right. engineering. Uh, I, I think that might be it. Yeah. I thought that was common. Okay. Wait, wait, so, yeah. mm. Do you see Noctus? I see red dots. Do you see the red dots? Uh, no. I, I see Noctus. Wait, really? Uh, underground. <sighs> He's everywhere. Okay, so there's another hero. Water. That's pretty good. <laughs> Finding another like wild map hero is a big advantage no, here. Different. Normally, you you only you... see those on like brutal, but you can sometimes see them here in normal. And and seeing one is a really big deal in terms of of our knowledge. It's like more than a full I, turn I mean, of knowledge that we pick up there. I don't see it yet. Wait, I see uh, something. All right, whatever. I'm gonna Wait, go take the fight him? this turn. Yes. And then um. These uh, guys can get into range. This is a really a beaten hand. up heal, uh, oh, ruler right. here, but I, I think it should be okay. <laughs> there's enough, there's just, six just, units here. Uh, there's a massive overage in I terms of the XP concentration, but I just want to get the 150 no, 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 knowledge like now. Uh, get our, get our West symbol on the supports map. even stronger okay. ASAP. Here, oh, I think the quest symbol was here. where you were when you got the quest, because I have a quest symbol um, where my hero was when mm. I, I ran into Noctis. Are you sure Noctis is there, or are you... Sh yes. are you... It's always so, uh, hero. I don't think it does. Are, wait, are you guys killing Noctis I right now? No, I think Zombie's confused. Um, Zombie, let me show you what it looks like on my, my end. I think you're seeing this. There's Noctis. As far as I can tell, Noctis has at least one city, like, northeast of Deepwell. Yeah, at least one. Unless yeah. it's underground. I don't know. Where is oh, he, is he underground? I don't know. He is. He's and underground. Then, oh, yeah, it under, is. Underground oh, adaptation. Okay. Eridite I Orcs. Because there was a... <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do any settings when it came to to Noctis and underground stuff. So if if uh, he just he rolled always, underground, he just rolled underground. He always starts, uh, uh, he always starts uh, underground. underground. Yeah. All right. Cool. Oh. It's okay. interesting to know. Yeah, I don't see him himself unless you can actually see him. Just if you see, see if we can carry that uh, one dust hunter. If we can get, get that dust hunter to stay alive until it becomes or, legendary, uh, then it could be something that we could bring into a manual fight against somebody else. Like, we're, right now, we don't I really think, have a whole lot of, like, um, ranged pieces that we're trying to push not, out, so I no, think after we're, we're done with the tavern sick, here, we uh, might legitimately just audible into, force out, um, Town Hall 3, oh. or you'd be drop like, in some you SPIs him, like, and then level 2. Oh, so but I want to get around. some Awakeners down, and that does it require Town Hall 3. And that's... That's a good place to go. So so far we're um, actually we're only yeah, evil I temporarily. So. Um, we're trying to go back into neutral seeing, as quickly as we can, so that way we can get back to see. utilizing yeah, the extra production in our cities. Five, um, yeah, yeah. Right now, uh, any good will do because we're only at minus ten. So yeah. we'll, we might want to like scare these guys off. Actually, yeah. that might be a, a productive thing to do for our, our alignment. Uh, and not too too difficult, but once we get once we get our our like all of our economy really fixed up and Solimra grown into place and Sunspire grown into place, then I think we're we are probably gonna go evil just to see what it feels like. Um, and we're gonna take another city there, and then I sent you screenshot. Let's see, are we gonna replace that one? We have fifty. And you've never extra stood over there at turn. any point. That's kind of weird. Well, you know what? Yeah, why is I think, that up there? I think what we're going to do is we are going to let this Dawn Defender heal because it's not I necessary for this fight. I don't have that on my screen when I look over there. 
And I think everybody else is going to come in on here. Everybody else is going to come in on this. Let's uh, get. So weird, this you? game never has any bugs. They're multiplayer. Yeah. Send, uh, multiplayer is incredibly stable. Uh, do, do you want uh, your scout uh, be dead? No. Oh, thank goodness. So where we, are we got looking? Oh, an God, opportunity okay. to. Ooh. What the yeah, hell? That, where did this come from? All right. Well, so you, you we got an opportunity to get some gold, and... or some <laughs> good, rather, but <laughs> we, we found there? instead a Zephyr Archer. And it's a Zephyr Archer that's almost at veteran rank. Uh, that's a uh, good place to be, considering that we do have the, the <laughs> dormant enchantment going on. So I, that's out of movement, fine. So it's up to you. We'll find we'll find some evil somewhere else, or some good, I guess, somewhere else, because that's where we are on the uh, the alignment. Maybe it's there. Maybe maybe the somewhere else that we find is right around the corner. But you can see that there's like this big empty swath. So oh, the only thing over good. here that it's might be worth picking up is the tranquility pool. I but that would be worth picking up. That's a huge upgrade in terms of our map. Uh, did you guys ever read jazz. the um, the developer Maybe. diaries entries for Planetfall before it came out about how they generate maps? No. It's really interesting. Super. Yeah, interesting. that Zephyr Archer actually like, I think is going to be pretty like solid here. Um, it's it it's still drops, like so it's got like probably square, not going to be super right? well supported by us because uh, we don't don't have probably blocks, the way to like transform like it and we don't have map. a lot of things and that increase our, our ranged attacks but just having dormant seeking arrows and the ability to get spirit damage is usually enough to make them pretty spooky and then they try to expand into any other gaps they find and that's what gives all right, them all so this see. sort of like you two go get some healing is because they've been randomly bumping into each other and expanding until there's no space left I guess uh, our so that's how they generate, like, ruler the provinces. could use for some healing, but I don't know. Some healing, but, I don't know. You got enough HP. But I thought that was so interesting to see how you got enough HP. the provinces were made. Because it's hex-based, sure, but unlike, you know, say, Civ or something, or it's just hexes. This is hexes within provinces hexes of random hexes. shapes. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so we are th four turns away from military engineering. That's that's fine. I think that that means that we will be using this as a, a military engineering outpost. So we're not in a five five people are speaking at the same time because we're playing in multiplayer and and there are a couple of people talking and we're on push to talk. So we're not we're not like interrupting each other. Uh, but if if people are talking about something, then then you're gonna hear them in the background. It's not gonna be the case whenever we do single player games, but for multiplayer games, I think it's I think it's fine. All right, let's drop one Phantasm Warrior in here just to do a little bit of scouting. Um, Phantasm Warrior is, ooh, there's Noctis. There is a Noctis. Has anyone effectively used Mirror Mimics in no. the game? Not really. Yeah, I, I would recommend don't use the Mirror Mimics. <laughs> right. Tome, Tome of Astral Mirrors is good. The the uh, the Astral like clone support unit ability is is pretty nice. But uh, mirror mimics, I think, are mostly like just in case of emergency, break glass. Mm -hmm. In case, in case you're way, <laughs> way, way behind on tier five units, then I guess they get you a little bit faster. But then you're usually dead. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get this uh, tranquility pool because we already have Archon Blood. So then we just need Astral Dew, and then we'll have the Cosmoflux Elixir, which is plus five knowledge and mana everywhere. Um, and it should not be too, too difficult to find that, I, I hope. Let's see. I don't know if I'm... Well, actually... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pick off that scout. Hey, um, I'm going to pick off the scout that's standing here, unless there's anybody who can come reinforce... There's, I got a bird that can see um, Alamir's Lightseeker. Are you good if I auto this? Right, you're talking to Ben Who or is, Pepito. Uh, that is the. Oh, is that that's the, Ben? Oh, that's the me. Death Lords. Oh, okay. You want to take my scout? Yeah. Well, I can't reinforce it. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah you, are you good just autoing it? Oh yeah, sure, do it. But you're fucking dead, bro. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> that's the spirit. Wait, why did uh, I like get? Two damage. <laughs> why did I get stuff from that? 
Just, just, just behold the power of the power of that scout. Alright, well, there's a Lobs Hollow. That's pretty far away from where, where our units need to be. Let's see. Let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Eos. That's fine. So now, now we just need to decide. Noctis, I'm looking at 700 strength in a stack right there. Without a yeah, I just, okay. I just saw a stack of Noctis, but it was like, just like tier twos and tier ones, like not terrifying. I mean, I could vandal it for sure, but I think with the bonuses he's getting, I don't know when it's possible to fight him. I, I think, I think if you see a fight that looks winnable. Then it probably is. Um, like major advantage makes a really big difference in really close fights, but does not change uh, an unwinnable fight into a winnable one for the AI. Like if if you are walking in with a bunch of uh, phantasm warriors and your opponent has lightning weapons, then like no amount of numbers are gonna really help people there. You can shuffle numbers around on a board all day long, but you're still gonna die. I mean, yeah, that's true. If I continue to power out my tech, maybe I, maybe I'll be all right. Yeah, like if you get, I think if you can get to like a couple hundred knowledge pretty quickly, then you should not have any issues. Thank goodness we're able to fix this the city here in Salinra because it is just like miserably archaic when it comes to its technology. You came to me without uh, even a library. Uh, Embarrassing. This marauder group spit out a stack right as I get there. Ah. <laughs> Damn it. It is the way. All right, so this is like, oops, all ranged units, so it should be pretty easy to pick apart with. Um, Can you look at this one do down here? Do you know, uh, Nurgle, if this uh, down at the, the peninsula down here, if that one's going to move away or if it's like, how do you know if it's going to move away or if it's going to sit there and guard? So you sometimes which which one are you looking at? All the way down. All the way down. Um, so that ritual circle, those that could be a patrol stack, which could be moving around in there because that's a silver. If it's a gold, it'll have like a stack of three that naturally will like sit there and help them on, oh, okay. on normal. So this one should move around. This one should okay. move around. All right, I'll give it one turn. Like you might might want to, is that as close as you can get without being in reinforcement range? Yeah, that is as close as you can get without being in reinforcement range. So you could, you could move like one stack one square yeah, southwest really but like you don't want to be much, close I enough guess. they'll reinforce yeah that's that's no bueno okay i'll just have to wait i'll wait one turn if they don't do it then it's suicide time they might not charge on you oh, but God. they'll move they should move around in which case they might be somewhere else on the on the, the board and you can just pick them off yeah, yeah exactly. you can find I just was, uh, another a hero to sure. fight when More of those we can find the better. Sometimes, There's another hero to fight. Uh, All right, good. I find that they don't, and then I have to wait. More of those is more knowledge, and that's where we want to be. Let's see. Yeah, this is fine. This is, this is enough of a front line to pick up. A, it should be pretty easy fights over on there. Yep, there we go. And I guess it is just plow north because like there's there's that's where the value is that is where the value is uh three turns three turns and then next turn i'm going to check again and it's going to be two turns and then i'm going to remember that it's two turns and then we're just going to keep doing that over and over again oh no oh my god is it close enough to reinforce at least it is close enough to reinforce at least all right so we have a fight all right. Well, I uh, I successfully attracted Noctis's attention, and now and now I might be autoing into him. We'll see. Ooh. Okay. Uh, exciting. Yeah. It's spooky because like I have I have more troops locally than he does, but like a meaningful number of my guys have a a good chunk of damage on them. Oh, 
right. We don't need, we don't even need um, a magic orb anymore. We could potentially reset uh, Justiciar. So what do we have? We have access to a Punisher's Halberd. We have a Death Calling Staff. Does this do what it says? Does this actually give us Death Calling? No, that's a tier one Staff Walker. Of course it doesn't give you Death Calling. But why would you name it that? Why would you name it that? Just to trick people? Just to, just to make people feel bad? That's probably why they would name it that. Can you build roads over rivers? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, it should create a, a bridge. Um, oh, you just can't bring them, you can't build them along rivers. Yeah, yeah. just but over you can cross. Yeah. Okay, so there's just like a bunch of undead here too. Um, and so I guess what I'm gonna do is I am gonna pick up Exposing Light here on this, on this secondary hero rather than reset. We get one reset for free, but between Exposing Light and Fire Evoker, this hero looks like it should do a lot of work against what uh, Noctis is rocking and rolling with. Let's go here and keep pulling our spears up north. All right, three more turns. So this, this, I guess we do need to use as just a healing outpost and then maybe like that's our core to create an outpost to, to launch attacks against this, this territory for Noctis. It's really aggressive, but I think if we're going to try to take Noctis out, then having this territory as, as cored up as possible is important. And I'm going to go ahead and summon another Phantasm Warrior. They're pretty good. Not as good against somebody who might be doing lightning damage the way Noctis might be, but they're still pretty good. Um, and I guess I'll drop in a Necromancer, buy that out, and do... Town Hall 2? I guess we're not really at the point where we're doing a lot of that stuff yet. So I'm gonna actually build a Sun Shrine. I wanna get some get some research done. So you Sun Shrine can go here. Yeah, that looks like Which a reasonable she was spot. Asleep. And then you shut the door and now she's like. Yeah, this looks oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you, you want to split up your units for a lot of different reasons. So you split up your units to get more steps. You split up your units to get more experience points. Um, you can split up your units so that way people can go get, get extra healing. Like keeping your units in one big stack for some important fights is very important for your auto resolve because the AI does struggle if you have like two units and one unit and one unit. But um, broadly speaking, you should not have just like gigantic stacks all the time. Noctis is just watching me. Noctis just brought nice. an army over nice. here and did not move with it. Nice. He's holding slash not holding the bridge. <laughs> I mean, that. I, it kind of does look like that, actually. He's holding the bridge, but in a disadvantageous oh, oh, position. Oh, not he ca I called him out and he ran. Oh. <laughs> He's like, wait, you can see me? Shoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The sim turn is interaction it, with the AI is kind of interesting, actually. Which one of yeah. you in the, in the call is actually Noctis? Hang on a second. Wait a, wait a second. You can't do that. Yeah, this is actually like a prank channel in the, and when Slay and I have organized for another person to be playing as Noctis. Yeah, there's actually three other Noctis <laughs> players. Can you imagine? We'd all be like, no, what? Noctis isn't to the what? west, he's to the south. And then people are like <laughs> arguing about it. The real Noctis is the Noctis friends you made the along time. the way. Yeah. Who's is anyone in this call not Noctis? <laughs> yeah. Once they told I'm me that honest. I was Noctis. All right. So this I actually, Sportacus, I don't know. We need this. We need this. This around. tile specifically because this tranquility pool is enormous. The minus ten percent knowledge cost. Uh, it speeds up your your research really considerably, and plus twenty knowledge on the tile itself is a big deal. So well, like, I don't really like want to pull everybody back <laughs> down <LA>. south. Um, <laughs> no. But this is a giant LA. open space here that that a we could grab a crab oh, city it, into. It, it but b himself, there's also just like not a lot of fighting well. to do here because it looks like Noxus has taken it all, other than this gold oh, wonder. And that's important. Yeah. Like generally, you want Why? your your clearing to be effective. Ah. Get research. Uh, okay. Get resources. I suppose. 
I suppose okay, we'll okay. go this way. And I think it's cute that we got a Bone Wyvern here, because we're going to be playing with, with uh, undead stuff. Oh, speaking of playing with undead stuff, how close are we to being able to recruit you? 210. All right, so we could potentially just spend extra right now to grab Moldy and throw her on the board and push her up there. And I actually don't even hate that. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's uh, increase our hero cap. We will recruit Moldy. Moldy, we will see if we can throw a bow something onto. Maybe. It doesn't matter what, what your weapon is, honestly. We just, we're putting you on this so you can walk faster. Don't tell your friends. Um, these are the exact same orb. So you get that one for now. Actually, and then Moldy is just going to jam. Is it all you and... Cancel something. Well, maybe. If you two more turns. Two more turns. God damn it. Two more turns means that uh, there's not really any point for me to put an outpost here, despite the fact that it would make things faster for reinforcements. But also, like, we're in a weird spot. Oh, man. I, maybe I should have just waited two turns. So that way we could grab that, that tile when we forced her out and save a little bit of Imperium. That's that's maybe that's worth it. That's complicated. I turned my army with my faction leader, and it something went weird with the audio, and it sounded like somebody farted on Discord for a second. Uh, oh, that was like me. a panic okay. moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yep. Thanks for coming clean. Even though you literally just made the call less clean, but I you know. yeah. Ha 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 ha. Let's see here. I think. Uh, it's just like a really big core of, of high level Dawn Defenders. These guys are going to be very bulky if we get into a fight. Not not good, but very bulky. And there is a bunch of mana there. So maybe maybe what, what we do actually objects? is we send some units here and some units here. Because that is something that we have the resources to do. Clearing in multiple directions can be really powerful. Gives you a lot of opportunities to grow. Um... Yeah, actually, I'm sold. That's what we're gonna do. And necromancers, good. We have multiple necromancers and multiple whiteborn whiteborn heroes, so things cannot be going all bad. Let's see who's pillaging over here. Oh, that's oh 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 boy. Well, there's the uh, the allied the enemy uh, allied team over there for sure. So yeah, Noctis is a lot closer to them than he is to us, but let's uh, let's see if we can come together. Desia, when are you, when are you um, vassalizing Slagholm? Mm, eh, we're gonna leave that. Getting, getting up to pretty close. This is so Wait, what goddamn am I? expensive <laughs> without, no, he's, without us he's being muted at the neutral. Moment. On Discord. Man. But I think I think we do want to get Sunshine and Who's probably this? Pantheon down. Oh. Level two is important and getting access to more casting is if also a big a deal. But I wanna culture, get I wanna get someone we can understand. So we'll do we'll, extra we'll... random of the their weird map building thing around the map. What happened? Like I have the uh, the hell is this thing called Dune Serpent Den, the yeah. thing that like terraforms. Does it just put a couple other ones around the map? Yeah. Or do they only show up by? Okay. I need a, a seat. Only I see uh, it. Is that yeah. True? So I'm just dropping that that phantasm warrior in there Whoa, mostly no, so it can sure act as a scout thing, and just see what ones. what's coming in from the sides. But also just with like so much mana that like there's no reason not to. Um, if your units walked into it, would they bump their heads on it or would they go through it? The the like other people's transforming things, we wouldn't see it. Yeah, I'm we would just walk joking. through it. It's about like if it's a anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to feel sick from all the coffee. Ugh. I told you. Gracie, did you, what did you get from that uh that infestation we cleared? There's nothing I could have done. Um, from the one that I just cleared down there? Oh, no, no, no. The one we cleared, like, super early. The, the um, oh, ritual um, circle. Let me remind myself. I got, uh, in terms of gear, because I got, like, food and some other stuff or something. Yeah, I think yeah. I got... 
Do you need anything? No, not really. I, I'm actually like pretty good on resources right now. I have pretty low um, incomes on things, but enormous banks. Okay. Um, I have a couple of... I have like three tier two weapons that I'm not using oh. at the moment. You have three tier two weapons that you're not using at the well, moment? Well, they're not how I was building. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Three tier two weapons aren't as big as like, and if you had any tier threes that you weren't using, I'd be in on it. But I got, I, I, my guys have tier twos. That's close enough. This guy, I'm not sure if we're actually gonna leave Moldy on a uh, bear long term because this is not a um, the the one that gets uh, what you call it overwhelm. But Moldy isn't our species, therefore isn't gonna be getting any of our transformations. But does also get her own little selection of things, and we get a bulwark here on on Moldy. So this is a very powerful uh, hero if we can come up with ways for her to go into defense mode. If we can come up with ways. And uh, yeah, actually fighting this extra random hero I think is really high priority now because that's gonna be 150 knowledge, which is still gonna be nice. Hmm. And those guys can go that way. Yeah, all right, well, you know, this is a big, uh, a lot of random outposts that we have here trying to connect all this territory together, but it, and a big empty space here that we do need to fix with probably a work post out, um, a, a work camp outpost at some point. But for now, it does look pretty good. And we did get our third city. So that's here. Let's grab, I guess, workshop. We're going to take bed chambers as our first extra uh, pick there, kind of no matter what we do. Yeah, you can get some, you can get some EXP and some stuff. There's three gold ranked Dawn Defenders. You guys cannot lose anything in this fight. There's too many of you. And I guess we'll send more Dawn Defenders down there too. Yeah, that should be fine. Yep, sure is. And if we can get any of those guys up to legendary, that would also be just in, insanely good value for us. Because um, at legend rank, when they defend, they add bolstered defense to people. And although we aren't doing like industrious, and so bolstering defense to like over and over and over again does have diminishing returns, but we we are not doing that sort of that build at the moment. Which means we should have we should have opportunities to make it look good. I guess I'm not going to bring this Dawn Archer here, or the Dusk Hunter here. Like, it's getting pretty close to Legendary anyway, so battle experience points is a lot less important. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll bring the Necromancer in. Do we want to have um, a Phantasm Warrior get a little bit of experience points? Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm okay with that. And you're Elite, you are Champion... Yeah, that's fine. And there's another another hero over there for us to get into that fight. So yeah, we, we should be able to keep things keep things rolling. Alright, so another mount. A white wolf mount. That's not really the mount we're looking for, and I'm not really interested in just a bunch of draft without a uh without a tier three city built up. So I guess we'll take the white wolf mount. Man, I wish I'd checked to see where we were on in terms of our level up, but it's okay. Whatever. We'll be fine. Let's go here. And this gives us two units who can participate in this fight. And then another ethereal phantasm warrior go down there. That should work as long as we bring you in. <laughs> as long as the units are actually there, then, then this should be an easy fight. Okay, yeah, lost the Phantasm Warrior, but that's okay. The Phantasm Warrior is disposable. Imminently disposable. That's why they exist. Um, You know, actually, I'm going to wait until next turn, but then I think I am going to grab this as a an outpost, because the outpost can grab that as a research post, and I don't hate that. Don't hate that. 
That means we should probably destroy that outpost, actually. Yeah, so maybe we can start just jamming more camps up there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got, yeah, kicked, yeah, um, I got kicked in main menu. Okay. I haven't seen any updates on that yet in-game. Wait, there's a new update? No, I was saying it hasn't shown us that you got disconnected. Yeah. Oh, uh, shows yeah. Shows that you joined. Um, I'm going to end my turn. I will be back in just a moment. I'm going to take moment. endurance training here just to get a little bit of extra survivability on our units because most people are going to be traveling with them, and that is that is a big deal, at least initially. Eddie line I'm founded. I guess we'll grab... I don't know if we want to build another Dawn Defender here because we do have enough. Actually, I'm not even sure if we're building another Necromancer here because I feel like we probably have enough. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four four supports is fine. I wouldn't mind having another um, have, uh, another Sun Priest, but it would mostly be just like a backup Sun Priest in case the first one died. I'm going to take Pantheon. It says seven turns here because uh, we don't have the boost, but I think we're going to get back out of evil pretty quickly um hopefully oh, if we can find if yeah, if we can find a way to we will <laughs> i'll put it like that i'm gonna take warding blessing that is that we want mark of invulnerability uh but we don't want it oh, immediately it is something that the ai does not particularly understand Wait, how to real use Marcus or... yeah yeah he's, a, he's on a boat on the north sea yeah nice he uh he nice. showed up outside of uh desia's capital and then just kind of like gtfo'd oh. <laughs> He has uh, big amount of XP. Yeah, he's just level eleven. Yeah, he's only level. Does he? Does he have like his random one staff still rocking it? Yeah. 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 Staff of spirit, so. One level one staff. He just like it. It's, uh, his Look, yeah. All right, so that you don't need fancy level four stats. You just that you just scout is going to be spells. really, really doing some experimental stuff out here. But I'm I'm going to save our, our gold. Like we have enough units here that if we were to condense them, we could field an army against somebody pretty easily. Um, and how's it going, boys? Moment. Oh, who's attacking? Who's attacking? Oh, mm. somebody's getting attacked by Noctis. No, 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 that Noctis. I don't know if I want it. This is this is a really interesting map. I wonder who's taking control of Triway. Nah, oh no! <laughs> right. you, you can do it. Gracian, you have to take control of Triway. Oh, right. You're losing it in. Okay. You're losing it to them. Of Triway? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Let me just teleport over there. Yeah. Well, like, where did you go? Did you go east? Where did you guys go? Oh, I just disbanded everyone. I just didn't think it was necessary. Oh. Okay, I just... Oh, no, I crashed yeah, a desktop. <laughs> oh, oh. Crash a desktop. Yeah, for me, it's only... Uh, it was it was starting to get a little bit stuttery, but right before that happened. Interesting. Oh, I lost my hero. You lost your hero? No, I mean, yeah... Not, not, not my main hero, but the other one. Oh. Yeah. It sucks. Lots you can get them so back by the getting a crypt. Game button. Yeah, just the like... Delta 4 and we're good. Let's see. Yes, that's it. All right, good. I don't remember. It, if I want to revive my role, I need to keep him in the, the crypt, or can I still sell? Uh... Wait, so you, in order to resurrect, you need the crypt. In order to sell it, you don't. Okay. Wait, no, I want to keep my stuff. Uh, are you gonna let me do anything in the game? Uh, wait until I have this series. This series. What? It says the uh, code that is invalid. <laughs> that was really. Oh, dumb to me. <laughs> oh no. We might need to revert because now I can't actually do anything in the game. Yes, same. Uh, I can't oh, join. No, no wait, it's it's working now. It was. Okay. I think All right. it was the enemy's turn. We yeah. exit and come back in, but if we have to revert, I, then we have I to took revert. I a massive battle there, so that's yeah, probably what, what you guys saw. It was, it was, it was. Yeah, it was just a big battle, I think. 
Oh yeah, yeah, it does seem to have been. All right, good. Oh. Good, good, weird. good. Okay. You can't rejoin with the code. You have to just join the active session. Okay, weird. Yeah, yeah. Did not realize that. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let, yeah, we're going to let that one burn out and just replace it with a, a two outpost. I think we just want to stay here and, and like, use this as the area that we use to gain experience point, points from. Even though this oh, is, like, well. really low quality, there's not, like, Rhetoric anything that really remembered. jumps off the page. But if we can <laughs> win the Cursed Barrow yeah, fight... This is why I didn't... I don't know if how many people saw that auto combat, but that was what I, exactly what I was expecting from this. Like, he's going to he's gonna harass whoever he's closest to, and it happened to be me, and it killed off pretty much everything. I really? Mean, really? I mean, yeah. I took, I, I took an 18 stack against a, a 2 stack fight, and I should have had, like, no losses, but my dragon's dead, and it's kind of silly. But oh no! Like, oh, I, had, the best one. <laughs> I, I had nowhere else to expand to except for where he was. It was kind of what I predicted, but it's fine. Well, at, at least it's we are playing on large, and this is um, still cramped, right? It, if we'd been playing on small, it would have been even smaller. Yeah, you know, um, lost uh, not so many troops, and uh, from your hero, you lost only your. Leader. It's it's okay. Yeah, I'm probably just bitter because that was not what I wanted. It, it makes me sad. <laughs> Plus, also Noctis is going to invade all my other cities now, so that's great. <laughs> his AI is that. very very passive, and you do have allies, so oh, they oh, should support you. It would be passive if I wasn't right on his border somehow. <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna be right on his border momentarily so that should yeah, uh you get this, it you should get split up his without attention. fighting his armies it's, oh no i'm gonna i'm gonna fight his armies he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna show up he's gonna show up i have or at lost. least his armies might whether or not Every the ruler himself shows up seems to be a crapshoot these days single motherfucking no, magnus spirit i've ever <laughs> summoned him. All right, let's see. We could grab that as a forester. Um, I have lost probably 15 magma spirits in auto combat. I don't have any. They they die every time. Yeah. Oof. They, they do die a lot. believe it. I have zero. Again, I lost three in that fight, three in the one before that. They're also the only units I lose. Does the AI think they're shield units? Hello? The ranged yeah. unit AI is just really bad. Like, you can watch it in auto-resolve, but it, they'll basically just, like, take ranged units and jam them right up front um, because that helps them maximize their accuracy, which is not bad if you're using, like, a single-shot heuristic where, like, you're trying to just hit with a support unit, period, and, and the whether or not it's a graze or a hit doesn't matter. But it is pretty bad at, at using regular ranged units in the oh, game I, I, and yeah. so like just prioritizing ranged stuff can be dangerous for exactly that reason i think this is the worst i've ever seen the I ai have... is not One, not two, where it needs to be i have a lot i okay not a lot but i have enough frontline units that that shouldn't be happening and a support hero with multiple heals like come on please. more than heals uh, the thing that'll in. keep them alive is crowd control if you can if you can like successfully prevent the other people from moving at all that's better okay so here we're gonna do another forester we need to come up with actually the the cash to connect here because if we can just connect everybody then um we'll have like having lunch while i play a right lot now, of so extra cash if i don't respond to you it's because i'm just not at my desk as I yeah my turn. that's fine I apologize. Um, oh, perfect. And that actually puts us by the way, in the area to a grab. Time in my today? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't, it, what I, I, it doesn't really matter. Like, I think it's just taking a nap today, so I can play until whenever. I have, like, potentially three more hours, but I don't think I want to play that long. Like, how does yeah. an hour sound to people? Like, we could do more. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd like to say by, like, 320 would be good. Yeah. Uh, or for me, I guess that's an hour from now for me, so. Yeah, no, that's perfect. We'll do that then. 
I can't believe that this pioneer man or this random scout managed to get all the way back there into their territory. That's that's pretty surprising. Um, let's see. I guess we can put down another outpost whenever that guy dies, so that's fine. Um, and you stay there. And I guess everybody here. Man, that turn is painful. I had such good momentum. That attack. I, yeah, I had support such that attack. good momentum. A Reaper's Hollow free and a Ogre's Keep free in like the first two or three turns of the game. This is just I, balance pulling you back down to earth, Winslayer. <laughs> I guess that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you think that you could just you could just get all of the free cities because you did the research and now you know how to do it? No, you can't do that. You can't get all these free things. No, 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 no. I the just game, wish the I game... could have defended with my free city so they could have lost all their units instead. Well, you can do that too, right? No, You're at no war balls. with everybody, so you can um, you can do coordination, war coordination, and get them to, to attack stuff. I wanted to defend the city with them, but unfortunately there are no walls for me to go sit inside or hang out with them. Oh, they don't have wooden walls? No. Ooh. Oh, he's coming toward you. Oh, no. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that hurry production. Um, and I guess here, I'm gonna grab another, am I gonna grab another forest oh, out there? Oh, push attack. No, he's sieging my other cities with his oh. actual army, his one remaining army, which means, hey, Walker, I'm just gonna tell you so we can end this. You can go take his capital for free. <laughs> okay, like, well, it's just free. Just go take it. I don't. I don't try really walking in that direction. Anymore. We'll see. We'll see what he does. But like, it's you guys. Your your capital is not that far away. You can help each other. You can. You guys yeah. can help each other. Yeah. Yeah. No. And... No. <laughs> no. No one wants to help each other. No enough. friends. No, it's not gonna be. No, it's fast not fast enough. enough. It's he's like, I think, zombie is like ten or fifteen turns away. I do have an ally that's close. Um. It's bad. Yeah, unfortunately, I sent, I sent all my armies on the middle. Yeah, his armies aren't going to be able to help for at least another 20 turns. So I'm just kind of dead. Like, unless Noctis decides to defend himself, which I think we all know what's going to happen here. He's just going to siege my city and not make any progress. And then he's going to overcome it for free. Like, that's what happens when you fight the AI. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I think I think we're gonna grab. I do the... think like auto resolve versus major advantage is just really challenging. I, I, I do it all the time. Something... Really, I, I haven't done it yeah. at all actually, so I, I don't have. I do. I like normally whenever I play single player, I do major advantage, minor handicap, auto resolves. Auto resolve only. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I haven't done that yet. It's it's challenging but rewarding. Yeah, I, I think major handicap would be really boring because like then you'd have to bring 15 units to every single fight. I think in in like minor handicap, you mostly have to pay attention to like what sort of units the enemy has, and then use that to to help create an advantage for yourself. There, I'm gonna bring an extra unit uh, just because like they do have sort of an extra unit in the form of the Houndmaster, and this is incredibly high quality material. And I would be pretty mad if all of them died in auto resolve here. So yeah, we lost one uh, the the spear, but that's okay. That's fine. Don't need all of your units to survive. You just need most of them to survive. A reasonable number of them to survive. Oh. Are any of them now fast, close enough to actually get into this fight? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe we needed to take, uh... Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, actually, this is totally fine, because now we actually have a, a Necromancer there, too. Alright, cool. Alright, we're gonna have to throw some walls up. Alright, I'm gonna be fast-clicking into Noxus before he can run any other units in here, so tell me when we're passing turns, <laughs> please. It's yeah. my only hope, I, or, or I just run away and he does what he wants with my cities. I mean, it does, unless he took Add Up Settlers, it still takes, like, four turns to incorporate. So, like, it's too, you know, it's not instantaneous to, to take cities, even if they don't have walls. Yeah, they still need to break the wall. Uh, I guess I'll back off then, yeah. He does his thing. 
All right, I'm gonna take this fight here. I think I think given that we have a, a hero on the other side, and this is one with a piercing crossbow with insanity. Piercing crossbow with insanity. Wait, don't back off. That's what you say. I I mean, what if he brings another six stack in here? Then he's doubled my strength. <laughs> he might have army. the movement. Back off with half of them. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Punisher's Halberd actually because we have 48 no, movement on our boots. Boots of velocity is really I, sick I there. Um, and that's Siege that, Master and that Demolisher. That so that's actually that's something that we might want to move on to our main. There's gonna be a new air in one turn. So they might have another army. Yes. Yeah, we'll take it like that. That requires gold. I don't have. <laughs> yes. All right. Sweet. Friends, allies, help help your help your friend help your friends. Yeah, oh, yeah. I need gold, but I also am dead, so, um... Uh, how many gold do you need? <laughs> All of it. I'm I'm at 22, and I have plus 187, and I'm just trying to rebuild. Uh, wait a second, why I cannot... Oh, I'm dead! I'm dead! Okay, and next one? <laughs> okay, so here we have a level three. Doing okay, need anything? And order affinity. All right, whatever. That can get out of here. We'll, we'll hold then. the level five uh, in case we need to resurrect him. Um, in case, need? like, we get a, another ruler, be uh, another hero dead, be and, and okay. need to fix things. But I think it'll be all right. There you are. I think that. I have gold. Right. I could trade you if you need some gold. He's in the water. Chase a conduit. So here, this could be a good sun shrine. Sure. So okay. I guess actually we're gonna drop in palisade walls, that. and then I'm gonna grab a soul well behind the forester, and then a sun shrine right there. Um, and now we're on to tier two, so we'll take our Thank you. almost souls. Yeah, no Esta. There you are. And now, um, actually now I want to see if we have right, somewhere to grab this. bone horrors because. Yeah, I would I'm not kill you as many times as I yes. possibly can just for funds now. I would I would not hate taking bone horrors. Killing a level eleven here is like worth more experience than a level two, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot more. If you if he's ever dumb enough to get himself isolated, then Noctis is a lot of a lot of resources really quickly. Well the, the handicap is that part of the army strength? I don't think it is. Uh, it should be reflected in the army strength, okay. I think. But like, whether or not you, you just you you need to pay attention to like what sort of elemental things he has going on. Like when he showed up on my doorstep, I think he probably backed off because I had a I have a second hero with um the distant evocation and exposing light and fire evocation. And like a bunch of the units that he showed me were they, weak to they fire. They don't care about that though. They don't care about. You don't think they care about that? They have no idea what that means. I, I mean, it's just an army number. That's all they see. Maybe, maybe, but anecdotally, they do seem to like behave as though they're afraid of things that do extra damage to them. I think that their army strength is reflecting their handicap because I, I can think see that's a couple correct. units that their army power seems too high. Lindsay, he attacked you with scout. Do you afraid scout? You attack me with scout? Noctis. Yes, zombie has betrayed you. Zombie reveals <laughs> he is Noctis. <laughs> Noctis is. Uh, where is he attacking me with the scout? I don't see the scout attack. Uh, he, he has scout on his main army. Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm terrified of the scout. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see it, this derelict it, workshop? Scout. <laughs> Look at this you know derelict what? workshop by Deepwell. That is like a, a physical damage nightmare. If you, if you bring physical damage, <laughs> God. You're right. Actually, I should just okay. Go I think this is fine. Yeah, we we got our units Holy kind of like shit. in a it's lot like of different areas don't. right now, but I I think it's going to be mostly good for us for our oh opportunities God. to get get another city here. Maybe maybe it's literally oh, right oh, here. Oh, I don't know. Where do we want that other city to exploit the sparkling thicket? Where do we want that? Is that close enough? Yeah, all right, so here you should be able to get close enough to go this way. I think that's fine. And sparkling thicket is next turn. Wow, this is just like all of our pole arms here, including Moldy. But this, this should be a good fight. Oh, 
how long until he moves? There he goes with some of his units. Oh. Oh no, we're being auto attacked by, by Noctis. He's eating my bird. Noctis no, Noctis Maybe. killed my bird. Good. Get him. <laughs> yeah. He also cast That's a lightning torrent on my bird. That was the most brutal overkill. <laughs> Oh my god. I love that it's uh, five of us just fucking around and then uh, Winslay getting annihilated by Noctis. <laughs> <laughs> While we all pretend like we are gonna help or, you know. Yes, yes. I mean, we're, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm getting I'm there. I've, I don't know which one of these is actually his capital because I know it's not this one, so I assume it's probably this. Oh, Jesus, yeah. 110 wall strength, you say. Of course, you can find his capital, and I have no idea. I have an inkling of where it is, <laughs> but I'm the one killing him, and you can just get to scout him. <laughs> well, so far, I so far I have not made good on that promise of just killing him. Can that guy get close enough? That guy cannot get close enough. All right, so these guys, I think, are just going to hang out in this immediate area. Um, what was down here? Oh, we don't know what's down here. We don't know what's down here. All right. Mana? I don't hate to see that. That's actually what quite good. Um, just gives Eddie even more opportunity for growth. We'll probably need a forester in there as our next uh, tile to pick up. Uh, that gold vein is fine, but I guess we, we need this so that way we can grab the uh, tranquility pool. So yeah, let's grab that as an outpost and then turn this into a research post. Why? Why are my? Why are my camps? Are other people's camps being built instantaneously? Outposts. If you have the, uh... Yeah, my outposts are getting built in one like the same turn that I click it. No. Are you, are you that sounds one? like an exploit. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what I did. So I don't know how to describe it as an exploit because I I don't right. yeah. I didn't try to do that this, I mean, but it does I mean. seem like there's something wrong because I'm clicking out build outpost and it is doing it in zero turns rather than one. Oh, zero turns. That's unusual. It's doing it same turn. Okay, well, we can't put something here to grab the Mother Ash, and there is a quest on top of the Mother Ash right now, so I'm not Could super worried about that. <laughs> but let's uh, let's go get Can some more experience points quarry, fighting. Please. Become a Over quarry. Here. Yeah, please become a quarry. Detroit, become quarry. Yeah, that's fine. That's good enough. Oh, oh, we're not close that's enough to so get bad. into that fight, so no, that's not good enough. But we can use our, our uh, Bone Wyvern here. I think that'll be fine. Um... Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be fine. And I'm gonna leave mana on. We're still at just like infinity mana. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, well that that is the danger of having a, a ranged primary hero. Yeah, we need to get you a real weapon. That's not acceptable. You can't take that much damage in each fight, kid. Defiant plate. All right, I'm I'm here for a defiant plate. That looks pretty good. Artisan workshop. Let's see what we got. Oh, right, we have. Uh, we need to take probably a no forester. Yeah, I think we need a forester. I kind of oh. went over bird, dude. I can't believe I just lost everything there to that. I lost everything. I literally have zero units on the board. Oh. Oh, oh no. God. In, no way. Oh my god, yes, you lost everything. Uh, uh, they, they lost I'm, nothing. I, I don't understand what happened there. If you don't want to revert, I get it, but I'm kind of like, we, I, we I can. just want to stop here, to be honest. Yeah, really, we can revert. That was super dumb. <laughs> that was super dumb. They have no heroes. I have two heroes. I have and two I, heroes. It's all skeletons. It's all just, skeletons. I just collected the remains of a hero. Oh, wait, no, it was this. It just didn't tell. What the hell? Alright, whatever. Oh, my, my game crashed. Alright, I'm just oh, retreating no. from Noctis now. <laughs> Multiplayer! Oh no. Now I have to remember what I did this turn. Yep. 
Okay, so let's go I here. A thousand two hundred two heroes, and he had nothing. He had nothing. Skeletons. You got the skeletons. <laughs> he he's got skeletons, but you gotta remember that he does have like pretty high astral tomes available to him. Like, look at he's got eight and five for his um his affinities. So he has a lot of like nonsense at the beginning of the game in terms of uh, spells. So he's probably has. Like, I know that he has access to cascading powers. But he probably has access to a couple other things too. This is what you guys get for harping on my skeleton boys. Just, yeah, just skeletons are alright when they have major advantage, then they're pretty good. What, what was it? Was it this? Is that what we brought? I think that's what we brought. And then our and then our hero just barely didn't die. Alright, let's fix that before we get into that fight. Let's give you give you some real equipment. Rather than autoing with um, an unnecessarily bad mage. Yeah, that'll be safer. If you die here, I'm gonna look like an idiot, but <laughs> not yet, you're fine. Let that be a lesson. Melee is usually safer. Usually safer. Got through that with effectively zero damage. Um, I guess we could do that if we just take all of our supports in. It's a lot of front line, uh, and basically nothing for us except the, for the heroes. But I don't think that's necessarily the end of the world. Yeah, alright. I think that's fine. And then let's see- hey, good! And then let's see if we can grab, um, more tiles here. Yeah. I, I don't know what's causing this. This is really annoying that it's- that it's bugged because I we do need to build outposts and there's no way for us to pretend like it's not the same city the same turn. I don't know what the hell happened. All right, Noctis kills that. Done. Uh, tranquility pool. Outpost is fine. Outpost is fine. Idealanum can annex. I guess it is probably not important if we have control over the underground and this is still an extra tile away from that research post so yeah let's go here and then we can grab that that mana node that should be good let's throw up palisade walls normally i want to go library first but zombie has like random scouts in the area and i i uh, oh, i'm has... just gonna sit in my capital like when you guys are trolling me like there's i don't see myself doing anything interesting with the rest of this match you guys have fun <laughs> I mean, it's a th there are three players on your team. Like, you guys should be able yeah. to to help yeah, each other out. So we, can, uh, we can do it. Yeah, we're just like, do, there, like it is not too difficult to have. Even if you only can put the resources together for one stack, Winslayer. If you have one stack that's working with one of your allies' stacks, then you guys can take on meaningful infestations together, get experience points and resources that way. Like, there, you can. I, I died three times at one of my streams before, like, turn 30. No, I just. For me, it's like. Sure, people enjoy playing against these guys in single player. I think that's why they're so beefy. But for me, it's just not multiplayer. Like, for me, multiplayer is player versus player versus farming the map, but not AI rulers. Like, it just doesn't yeah. fit. And I, I had a feeling this is how I was going to feel playing it, and I'm. I'm just, I'm trying not to just like be like because I felt that way I'm gonna make it a reality but it just feels like this was inevitable like even if it wasn't me I think it would be a miserable experience for whoever gets the Noctis like aggro it, I, it's not I can agree. too difficult on like non teams because he just doesn't attack you immediately but on teams it's a little more complicated because he, he can send units at you right away But like you can you can fight you can fight Noctis pretty early, uh, even on like major advantage auto resolve. It's just usually not like turn fifteen. Yeah, but like for me, I don't I don't care for fighting AI. Like it, it's yeah, just, it's like silly to just lose units like I am to auto oh, over man. and over and over. That was a massive advantage that I had going into that fight. I should have been able to auto it. 
All right, we got our we got our transformation. So now, if you if you want to play with necromancy, I really do strongly recommend that you play around with um, awaken. Yes, fun. Ugh. Well, so with we unfortunately, Badak, I don't know if you're like just turning tuning in now, but when Slaya, we were playing with uh, Noctis here with a three v three, and and when Slaya like kind of dove in on fighting Noctis by himself, um, and his army got wiped out, so now he's he's uh, having having some difficulty putting an army back together. Uh, I think I think we need to build another research post here. I think we actually need to build a research post. Do we need to build a soul well? Do we need to build a soul well? I guess we'll build a soul well. I think that should be good. Yeah, that should be good. Because we want to get onto our academy in the city, like, earlier than that, Walker. Why are you building a soul well? Why don't you build a sun shrine? Those are faster. Those are cheaper, Walker. You could build those instead. You can build those instead. They are available in the game. Um, but we did, we built it. We built our tier three. So now we can start working on Awakeners. That, that is all we wanted. Uh, you want and more I bad news, Winslayer? I think I'm actually <laughs> going to go ahead and give it to me. No. Uh, you. Because uh, here you that'll see pop the our, army going yeah, for that'll pop our, uh, that has no one really up to max. Is. Uh, w wait. Just spring, spring sand. Oh no, no, wait, no, no, wait, I, mean, uh, I missed uh, that uh, notification, no. I mean, I, I, I have to, I, I can send my three guys there to defend a bit, but uh, I, I'm on my way, but I'm still very far. But I, I got three, take, three guys. They're going to take my ancient wonder, no. <laughs> uh, but he cannot. Uh... Okay, we'll delete I'll, that outpost. Oh, he doesn't I don't have, have the logic that. to do that. Non the random oh, boring outposts that don't do anything. Cannot, uh, take it. Yeah. We have no gold. <laughs> we successfully burned all of our gold, Walker. You had like a thousand plus, and now you have none. I'm gonna send Marmy on this city just so he doesn't take it. But you said you're gonna go that way. I mean, I've got three guys. No. All right. Well, whenever we take sparkling thing, it will take gold. There, I think. Yeah, I, I think there's gold under there. And if not, there's definitely gold no, under here. It's on the we'll just keep. If keep these guys just farming out here, stack, they getting whatever resources they, they can. can. They can burn down things. Oh, oh annoying, we get astral dew, like, except yeah, yeah. most certainly. It's up to you where you want to send your units. Ooh, uh, and I now we have Cosmoflex elixir. Yeah. So I, can, I, I can claim I'm doing something. I'm gonna. Yeah. Who, who's that? <laughs> that was Gracian. Gracian, I'm gonna. I'm gonna send you back. Um, Silver tongue fruit. Do you need that? Okay. Uh, I don't have one. Oh, yeah. uh, do, do you need uh, money? Yeah, yeah, send me I all the money. Two, uh, two of those. <laughs> if you've got like five. Uh, they, no, they, so they don't cost Imperium upkeep, they cost gold upkeep. Um, so they only cost Imperium upkeep in the event that you have the the Mark of the Tower, which is pretty bad. Um, so if you end up getting Mark of the Tower, then that can be pretty disappointing. But if you don't, uh, then Mark of the Tower, then then outposts only cost gold upkeep, and they are immensely important. I find a way to send it infinitely. Yeah, if you just if you just set a uh, zero time frame, I'm pretty sure it just does it indefinitely. Oh, uh, zero. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just fix it in 15 turns. It'll probably notify yeah. me that it expires, so I'll just fix it. Or I can also yeah. just send it to um, Des instead if they want it. I mean, right <sighs> now that doing? that's pretty solid for me. Um, uh -huh. But we'll we'll see where we are in 15 turns. Hopefully, the game's over. Yeah, I was pretty happy to find my first one so early, just because I was. You know, sending all of my mana, turning my mana into magma spirits who then die. Yeah, so that's great. That would really speed up the the quickness with which I can waste my mana. <laughs> that's really good. I'm so happy. Got another rainbow clover right there. All right. Um, I guess this outpost can take the cursed barrows once we've fought them. Can we go down here? No. That's probably not true. No, okay. all right. I don't think there's anything important down here. I mean, I don't want to argue maybe, with you, but... <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Hey, be nice to my friend, zombie. <laughs> oh, do, do uh, either of my teammates need to trade uh, mana for gold? I, I have infinite mana, but need gold. I can do that. I actually... Uh, I, I, would like to, I would like that. <laughs> yeah, if, if you need mana, just hit me up, like... Offer me okay. whatever whatever reasonable rates on gold you feel like you can. I don't know what is reasonable. 
But what your economy can currently support without hurting you. I I have, right now, I have 800-something mana and literally zero gold. I have one gold and negative three income. I have a thousand gold, so I will send you. All right, cool. Like, take take whatever mana you feel like you can you can productively right, use, I'm, and then give me whatever the mana you or whatever gold you feel like you do not currently need. Um, hmm. Say, uh, try uh, level up your uh, elemental. Maybe on this uh, NPC army, Maradors. Let me go pillage some of I some of zombies yeah, 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 stuff out here. This is capital. And you can uh, take an uh, infestation <laughs> after this, and uh, if you level up your yeah, let's do that. Units, you good. Mage luck cannon. Yes. All right, we're we're floating. We've got the gold. Uh, I think you lost lost uh, because uh, uh, undead uh, just have uh, um, first resistance, and your main army just. Damage. Yeah. Yeah, I should consider that. Uh, and uh, blight damage and undead. Also, eagle mounts are just like sure. really fragile because they add literally nothing in terms of survivability, and they don't even have like the the like good good faith effort. We're gonna make it so that at, at the very least you can break away really easily in combat. They just get they get opportunity attacked to death. You're you're a brave man, Winslaya. That's a brave brave man's build. <laughs> eh, you know, when you got the order breath, there are some things that can work with it. Okay, so let's bring these guys together. And go ahead and take the sparkling thicket. We're only level two, but we have we have three tier twos there. And just like an infinite, an infinite wealth of uh, really, really good equipment on this unit. So I think hey, I think Moldy should be able to take this. Got a scout near me. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, talking about. And I was just curious to see where you were gonna go with that because I have something else going on. Hey, cool. Possibly. Oh yeah, let me know that. One helmet here. That's fine. Um, and now actually, the bone it, horrors arrive. Yeah. So um, down, down by my red man. Okay. Eating eating the whole is pretty good. I was thinking if you could go take a peek for me. All right, uh, but I don't want right, you to yeah, sacrifice. I'm, don't I'm gonna, my yeah, I'm gonna be peeking. Like whatever. Sure. I'm gonna peek well, over here. You got it. If if you really you want, we can. I can yes, give you yes, what you're is, looking yeah. for. You can get another another city up there, Walker. I suppose. So we'll do outpost, uh, and I guess this will turn into a city up here. Yeah, it says we're gonna go over city cap, but not really. We're gonna go over city cap for one turn, and then and then we'll uh, cap it back up. And then I guess I guess then we'll just like bring everyone together and push on Noctis's capital. Also, also important to note if when if uh, if Noctis is not in his capital, we could we could kill we could I could take his capital, and then you could kill him, right? That that remains I guess as an that out. Does work. <laughs> it does. It's Who? it's stupid, but it remains there as an option. Who wins? Is that the person that kills Noctis in that case? Yeah, it's the it's the team that kills Noctis. Oh my god! So it, the team that does the final of the two, either the hero or the city, whichever one is left. Yeah. If you're so you lucky, to... you get them both at the same time. But yeah. um, you kind of yeah. have to do that, or it's you're risking kind of you're All right, risking so, everything actually. Let's see, we here the actually we probably do want to start with corrupt souls and then pick up soul binders. So I'm gonna do that. We have enough casting points. I'm not gonna make 10 million um, phantasm warriors because this is not this is this is not that kind of game. Gold that was just sitting here. Yeah. Here Okay, let's see what we can do in terms of farming these guys. I guess I'm not gonna bring the Bone Wyvern into a chaplain fight. That seems like, it, and Zealots, that seems like you're just wasting a Bone Wyvern for no reason. Um, so I I'm gonna no okay bring- I that much gold. Maybe I'm back in it. I guess there isn't the, the nice recovery. Um, Did, with three just, economies just... working together, you should be able to, like, in a free-for-all, you would be dead, I agree. In a free-for-all, you, you would just, the right thing to do would be just delete your units and surrender. But, like, you have three economies working together. If you guys work together, then I don't think you're as dead as you think. 
Huh? We'll, we'll find out next turn. We <laughs> will. Ball we Z. will. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Dragon Ball Z. We, we will. We will find out. Where, but I think I think now the collection? pacing is you gotta you and Zombie need to uh, Zombie needs to come up and every everyone needs to start walking towards no Noctis. Honestly, is probably where we all need to be. The Noctis is is burning my stuff. <laughs> well, like <laughs> no, he's in the bug of anyone who is not game. currently oh, okay. uh, getting getting ready to to fight Noctis should probably think about it. I, I'm moving there. I'm just just gonna take some time. Yeah. And you want to, like, coordinate with your allies, too. Like, you don't want to just walk towards Noctis and, and not um, have your friends nearby and get crusaded. Oh, well, that was the plan, unfortunately. Oh. Well, unfortunately, uh, 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 yes. Uh, uh, I'll tell you about that. That, that, that was secret, secret information, bro. Yeah, how'd you know about my solo crusade? <laughs> my solo crusade? You'll, they'll never see yeah. it coming. Mm-hmm. And just like the real Crusades, it's gonna—I'm oh. gonna try 14 times and fail all, all the time. Every time. Yeah. Do, do, do you see it? Uh, check my uh, bottom uh, city. Yeah. Well, oh. well, well, what's going on with them? Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna Our reset this at some point, but actually, maybe we're gonna reset this now. I don't know. But we've managed actually, to successfully get Materium One, so we actually oh, kind well, of and really and do not need. Aurora that's just like raiding with his scout. Oh, nice. <laughs> what, what, what a good, uh, what a good multiplayer power, man. Yeah. Wait, I, they have no hero. Uh -oh. I never destroyed that. I just keep it from being rebuilt. <laughs> it was the Marauders that did it, and I'm just, I'm just, you know, maintaining the status quo. Of course. Yeah. What, what did you do? Maybe you should defense this. Um, zombie set. has a, I think that's zombie. Is that zombie? Zombie has a uh, mangrove forest <laughs> ruins by his city, <laughs> and every every time it's one turn from being complete, I just go in and stop it from. Being oh, and stand on it. <laughs> yeah, <Good>. that sounds <laughs> right. <laughs> but I, I I didn't destroy it. It was Marauders. It was Marauders that did it, Your Honor. Did you yeah, they were time, uh, when you do this, uh, you die. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know what? Here we're, we're we actually can very easily grab the small monster den. I don't we're see any reason why why Moldy can't do that before we're, we're repositioning we're, we're, we're up north. That direction. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not gonna yeah, grab this yeah, tile um, sure until next turn, I guess, because our army is there yet. But yeah, that, that's good otherwise. Those banshees and ghost ships are such a fucking pain in the ass when you're in the water. They're so strong. Yeah, you you need lightning damage against them. Yeah, especially because I had I had not fought a ghost ship before, and I did so recently in manual, and I was like, "Why are banshees continuously coming out of this thing? <laughs> it's horrible." Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going back for deep well next turn if they don't. Oh man, I should have I, I should have bought out the bathhouse so that way we would uh, at least be up to to max there. But now now our awakeners are going to come out with bathhouses and they're going to be spells. ready to rock. So we just need. As much gold uh, as we can get our oh, hands on. Oh, they turned it. This. They turned it. Whoa! Oh, was, was that your? That was your city. Uh, it no, was a vassal. vassal city. It was Could a it, vassal. You, okay. Damn. You, do, do you want me to follow your army, or am I going down? Defend my other city, please. All right. Yeah, Zombie, I'm headed for your outpost down here. Do you want to do anything? Yeah, you can take. I don't know if I really care about any of these buildings at this point, um, but I guess I'm gonna take. A storehouse because we might play long enough to get one extra population off of that. Storehouses are generally a lot better at the beginning of the game. <laughs> generally. Oh no, how did we become evil? What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. Oh, god damn it. I pillaged one of zombies' tiles and then became evil. Oh no. That was not worth it. Pillaging zombies' tile cost me like an outrageous amount of, of production on those cities. Oh man! All right. Well, I gotta find good somehow, but I should be able to do that if I can just find fights where I'm a lot stronger okay, no, than they. Fine. I will will get terrified, run away, and um, and then we'll we'll just let them run. Yeah, we'll just let them run. That'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, Walker. Just let them run. You'll get plenty of extra experience points somewhere. No. 
You guys are supposed to run away. You guys are supposed to run away. Stop it. All right. Well, I guess if we're not going to get that, then maybe we do need to get... Um, oh, no. Right. We need the extra city cap because that's what we're working on on that outpost. Well, where are we supposed to get good from? Where are we supposed to get good from, Walker? Why don't you explain it to me? Where do you think you're going to get the good from to balance this alignment out? Uh, I'm going to take a couple of bone horrors. That's pretty good. What the heck's going on down here? And I guess we'll see if there's anybody down here. Unless there might be. No, I will not. But regardless, with a bunch of bone horrors, now we are in shape. Oh, I see that thousand stack from Noctis himself. Two heroes. Oh, is he so we have a forester, we have a quarry, we need another quarry. And I think the extra gold here is going to be absolutely critical, so we'll take that. Oh, interesting. Um, what are you? Are you guys going to be close oh. enough to. Yeah, they are going to be close enough. I didn't know this was my own race. Good. Okay. We're good. Uh, you. I guess we're just going to send these Dawn Defenders up north, right? Oh, okay. You might get a, the city. Right? There. Right? I don't see anything super productive down there. All right, let's find out. I think we can, I think we can get basically a only pick up. It's like, I'm playing a single here. player one for YouTube right now, and I only find two-handed weapons. And in this game, I have only found two-handed weapons. Yeah. What is I mostly find stabs, yeah. Okay, see, it's the opposite for me, as I never find anything other than two-handed weapons. Well, normally the rule is I only find the things I'm not looking for. Well, that's yeah. fair. That's probably exactly what's happening. <laughs> give me give me a retreat. Just any any retreat will do. I have take, quite I'll a take bit any of just them. junk items if anyone needs any. Tier 2 and below. Just fillers. Ooh, Request them for us. Those guys are going to get slaughtered. Okay. All right, here. This will be fine. Hopefully it doesn't auto in and pull those guys, but if it does, then we'll just turn off reinforcements for everyone. It's annoying that it spawned it right there, but uh, I don't I don't know why it did that. I don't know why it did that. Why did you do that? But oh I'm God, not I'm not gonna offer picks are so happy. that um, that entire stack. We'll just refuse to reinforce. No thoughts on that, anybody? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they should be. <laughs> yeah, their governor uh, makes them happy. Uh, she's a goat. She has a she has a is she fans. goated? Yeah, she's the greatest of all time. In terms That's of a feet. sports thing, apparently. Goat? Yeah. Goated. Goated. Goat. Goated. Goated to use it as a like a verb. Yes. Past tense verb. Yes. No, I have I have I have in my friend group there's one sports guy and so he keeps us all educated on the on the lingo. Oh good. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have a sing you gotta have one sports guy in your group or yeah. you'll just be confused all the time. Man. Uh, I wanna I want to I want to pillage like in, in zombies guys, backyard, but like here guy. maintaining neutral really is Crazy, kind of like uh, a lot more important. Guy. So we need to get that back yeah, the guy and, and hold on and stop pillaging. We haven't found one of those. Yet. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that's hard to find. I have to stop pillaging zombie because it, it's giving me evil, which is which is hurting my economy. No, oh, okay. it's good. You can continue. <laughs> I need zombies? I need neutrality. I need zombies despicable neutrality. I mean, like this really weird imperialist blob. Uh, I I guess we are gonna hope to connect these dots by putting an outpost here and an outpost there, and then um this could grab yeah, another no, I just, tile. I, I took the fight without my leader, which is dumb. Just Actually, how do we how do we do this? How do we do this? I don't know how we do this. The, I guess it goes here to here, and then here to here. You guys want to look for a stopping point in twenty minutes or so? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds, yeah. Good. Sounds good. I think I think I don't, that I don't would know be how right. Walker takes the capital, right? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, right now, I've got, like, a meaningful chunk of my army in the wrong space because I sent them, like, off on a detachment to see if they could uh, pick up this small monster den. 
and they almost did, but then I created a bone a bone horror after a combat, and now it's now it's pulling the small monster down itself into the combat. So uh, oh, no. the bone horror just get got got there. Holy crap! Whoa. The pigs are fleeing. Quick, capture the pigs! Oh my God, a lot of I gotta pigs. gotta bring them down. Walker, do you still have a lot of mana? Yeah. Yeah, uh, mana for gold is still on the board. If you if okay. just send me whatever you feel like you can, whatever you, whatever you feel like you can reasonably use and reasonably afford. All right, yeah, let's take this. Uh, oh, nope. Not not able to take things because it says that there's somebody taking actions right now. But we'll take that monster den. Lose. Oh man, keep keep losing those things. But we did get an excessive force. Ooh, a tier three, a tier three power weapon is a good deal. Um, the Cory's over here. Here, all this vibrant we'll another nature. Ugh. Palisade wall, I suppose. And now we can take, I think, actually a pretty good fight with these piggies. We'll go here, and we'll break off this Dawn Defender. Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost the the bone horror, but I think I think it was the right way to go. And that's a wasted banner. God damn it! <laughs> Banners, why are you like this? What happened? I didn't notice there's a banner, and I just sent well, at least a hero, but a single unit onto it. Oh! Oh no! No, that's so sad. Oh no! What kind of unit was it? Was it a tier one? No, no, it was a hero. At least it was, it was a, a hero. hero. Oh, it was a hero. But, okay. But, uh, okay. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. The two Sucks. or three heroes are all around. Yeah. They're wasted. Hmm. I mean, yeah. The, yeah this this would all be cute, but let's let's go finish let's go finish Noctis off. Get that trader proposal. Walker, I just kind of yeah. didn't know uh, uh, if possible. Okay. Yep. You're good. Thank you. I'm yep. gonna clear a silver wonder, and it has like the mana requirement to delay. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I wanna, I wanna use that to maybe make this not as painful. Uh, I think I'm gonna take Master Rejuvenation here, just to have one a tier of it five against um, Reaper in here. What the fuck? And a Bone boy. Dragon. There's a Reaper and a Bone Dragon. Yeah. Okay, I'm, good I luck. Have 200 <laughs> more attack power than that. I have three heroes. Uh, it's uh, probably not impossible. Oh the Reaper is God. really scary, but well, I'm, gl I'm glad this game's over soon. That was horrible. Yeah. Nurgle, run away with your scout. That was absolutely horrible. Oh, oh yeah, the scout. You know what? I'm gonna do you one better, zombie. What? Die! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I just auto-resolved the scout into zombie instead of deleting it. Just, just to, like, T-pose to assert dominance. Yeah, just to give him some experience, you know? Yeah. yeah. How do I resurrect it's, heroes? It's, it's... So in order to resurrect a hero, you need a crypt in your capital, and then you go into your hero overview, and then it should be uh, in your crypt. Like, you click on it, and then you should be able to inspect and resurrect. It's going to cost okay, a lot right. of mana, um, but okay. I still have, like, a couple hundred that I could I could spare pretty easily. Perfect. I will be doing that, because I just lost both of them. I... You just lost both of them? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, well. Well, pretty good at losing heroes so far. It's pretty overpowered. Yeah. Dying violently in a fire. Let's see. I guess I'm going to take. Hmm. Do I want another soul well? Is the question. Or do we want to just work on casting? I guess I'm gonna take one more soul well here. Zombie, we I... need to find the capital. <laughs> we don't have no have vision. Or actually, wait, it. no, we do uh, see I, it. Oh, we do I see it. I have my way. Yeah. Yeah. The the capital is in the very very north center. Like I very very north center. So far. We're about to hit our next city, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take the city cap here because this is this is online next turn. Do you know how little that narrows it down? 
And I guess I'm gonna go to I cursed think I can see arrow. it, so maybe my allies should be able to see it. And yeah, I mean, if you can I see it, your it. allies should be able to see it. I see two region in blue. I'm assuming that's what it is. With the yeah, it's the very dust. very north. The like slightly south of that is somebody else. It's a, or rather, it's their like secondary uh, city. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, starting each uh, turn. Each turn one. one. Each turn yeah, two. you were right. Well, I was you know wrong. What? Um, we have infinite so resources for fighting all undead, so to develop. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. I think we'll be fine, especially if we can take level eight I mean, off of something. Deep, deep well Show me level eight somewhere. Where's level eight? Where is level eight? Walker, I think where I need is to see underground before I really make many more decisions because I can't really tell what's the path to that capital from this passage. Oh yeah. Pre Presidio. Battle uh, won by independence. Jesus hmm. Christ. <laughs> if, if, if you uh, have left uh, gold, I. Uh, Forty-one. <laughs> yeah. I spent it. <laughs> you all spent it. God, that bone golem got. Fuck, those pigs got out of the cage. And then I destroyed it. Oh no, what happened over here? Whoa! Okay. It's well, like you know what? We're about to hit uh, corrupt souls, so I think we're gonna be I mean, all right. I will we're gonna need to keep rolling. In two turns to kill it, I think. I have to turn around. I didn't mm, see that it was sieging yeah. until I'd already moved all my stuff. Yeah, you have Which one soul well, and you have two soul well, so we have three soul or two soul wells coming down pretty quickly. Yeah, that'll yeah, no, support our, our corrupt like souls. But like we we spent really so many souls there on uh bone horrors now that our ability to just like vomit corrupt souls onto the board is gonna be pretty limited. But that's okay because here because we're playing as champion. And we're not going to have like oh, infinite shit. casting points uh, for that. We're going to need to supplement our yeah, casting yeah, points by after okay. the soul well. We'll want to work on probably uh, Town Hall or Wizard Tower 2, followed up by the channeling chamber. But that should be enough. They're, like right around there. That's like where he's hovering. Growling around. Okay. Maybe he's coming back to your side. Who knows? I have a, I have a, actually a really interesting fight to take here because if if it uh it's it's a I think probably the thing that Desia just lost everybody to, of a cursed barrows with a reaper and a bone dragon in it. Yeah, mine was a shrieker's tomb. I lost yeah, two was, heroes. Yeah. Too. Reaper and bone dragon. Yep. What level were you at? Uh, level two, level five, one level six. Two level five, one level six. Yeah. Zombie, I can finish this outpost. Do you have anything you wanted to do? You know what? I think we can go for this this Cursed Barrows. I think we're probably in better shape um, than our friend was in. Um, because Desia probably did not have a high. Was Desia high? I think Desia is barbarian here. No, industrious. I mean, that's still good, but... Uh, high does give us a lot of extra damage versus uh, undead by virtue of the fact that these guys have all these spirit weakness and we have spirit damage. I see that so pursuer in the water, zombie. We need, we need <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. one more unit here. <laughs> Y'all never take me alive. <laughs> I'm, I'm debating whether or not it makes any sense to try to like keep this thing around. I think the answer is no. But I, I'm debating whether or not I want to keep bone, keep this this thing for bone dragons later. I found him. There he is. Nah. The bone dragon was my nickname in college. Ooh. Oh, he's still. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> You know what? There's bleeding resistance on that other Which side, um, so I'm gonna take excessive force here. Actually, on this yeah, the secondary. Yeah, I can't see him popping in and out of that zone. He's just. I think that's up there for gonna be pretty important, fuzzies. actually. Um, yeah, let's do it. Hey, hey, we made it! All right, and we cycled a bone horror. Uh, so let's see. We get bloody edge. This is 10 alignment. All right, 10 alignment's fine. I don't want to get 20, but 10 alignment is actually a pretty big deal in terms of our, our getting oh, us back to neutral. <laughs> oh, dang right, it, that outpost got, was supposed um, to take that curse barrow. Mines make mana. Uh, 
uh, neural, so I've got um, more for you when you need, okay, you need cool. mana now. Uh, no, no, mana I'm still okay on. Gold is, is like the long term um, pseudo you need problem. Gold, not mana. Okay, I keep getting that. Yeah, I need, I need gold, not mana. Need mana yeah, anything? yeah. You can, if you need gold, feel free to trade me. Mana okay. for gold, I'll take as much mana as you're willing to give me for gold. My cat just took a fry out of my cup of fries and is eating it on my desk right next to me. I didn't notice. By Tarantino rules, totally that means now. your cat now cannot be killed. What the heck? If you if you steal mean? food from somebody, then in, in Tarantino universe, like you are immune to to bullets for the remainder of the scene. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god! Actual right, let's see Valley here. Units. Uh, are you? Oh baby, we have a uh, legendary okay, so coming so down yeah, right so there. Da, da, Holy da, da, mackerel! Da, da, da. All right. I wonder if I can. No. Yeah. Good. No. Good. 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 Things are uh, things sorry, are fun at the house. Cosmoflux looks are lost, but then regained. Uh, hero gained a level up. Oh, oh, hero gained a level up. Right, we have our second uh, signature skill. We we will reset this these the, before the we get into a fight the with the middleman between you two. Somebody, but for now, I think this is fine. I, I don't know about you guys, but I think I would have much rather preferred worrying about. Worrying about other players than Noctis, it, it hasn't been super enjoyable for me playing against the Noctis player here. I'm fine either way, but I, um, I think I know, think testing it a, is interesting. Like yeah, if you're having that that crappy of a time, then it, you know yeah. something that we don't have to do again. But yeah, it, it did just spawn a fucking ironclad. I would agree with you, Winslow. Personally, I feel the same. Yeah, and I agree that Walker, it is good to have variety, so I'm not like saying it was bad to test it or anything, just that I, I'm not enjoying it is all. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're, like, because you spend most of the time playing multiplayer, like, I think you're, you probably just don't play against these AI that often. They're they're pretty different. Yeah. Like, the way it, you have to approach them in combat is, is pretty strange. Like, you kind of need to have an ally nearby. Cough, cough, cough. Dude, Goatkin. Pyromancer. So when when do you guys get an army over here? I found the entrance to his capital. Oh, nice. I thought that might be up there. Yeah, because I have a feeling this other one doesn't go to directly there. I don't know if there's some yeah. wall that can break there. So like right now to fight Noctis, I have to take advantage of the movement not being uh, at the beginning of the turn to like snipe his Arby's, and I will do that if I have to fight against Extreme Noctis. <laughs> you want another yeah. fry, Ruby? Yeah. You have to be you have to look at YouTube though in order to get your fry. Yeah. You have to look at YouTube to get your fry. Here, perform for me. That sounds right. <laughs> oh my God, she's just eating it. God, she loves potatoes. She loves potato chips and like bread. Like she likes starch. She likes grain and like uh, earthy things. I don't know why. Did you inhale? You didn't even chew it. Oh wow, Desi, you you crammed two cities in there. Oh, yeah, fries? yeah. Where it's you know it's, it's been a rough game for me as well. Like just kind of the, the, I I think I should have just taken Slag home. To, yeah, it was, block, it was blocking me. It's blocking yeah. your Western expansion. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Just, uh, like it's turn thirty now, and he's still still an enemy. Um, yeah, he's, no, no, yeah. He's, he's my vassal. It's almost, now. almost. Oh, it's a vassal. Wait, no, it can't be a vassal now. No, no, because it's at war with me. Pact of loyalty, and it's just loyal. No, vassalage in one turn. Vassalage, vassalage in one turn. turn. All right, good, good, yeah. good, good. Then it'll stop sending pillage pillage parties at me yeah. uh how much um, how much mana and gold do you do you need and or have desia so i just made the crypt and i still don't have what else do i need i, I the crypt is completed but i it's not giving me the option to resurrect these heroes oh here we go resurrect how much does that kind of cost me it's probably um, a couple hundred at minimum yeah 350 for yeah, and 250. Right. So I need a lot of mana. I, I can give you as much gold as I can, but I have 300 uh, gold and 200 mana right now. You have 300 gold and 200 mana? Um, yeah. 
do you you could probably i could do like 400 mana for 200 gold um do you okay. do you gracie and do you have any gold that you can send or mana that you can send his way uh yeah i have a little bit i can spare some okay to send it a little bit okay i'll do the 200 for 400 trade for you right now yeah i don't want to give up everything because i'm uh, yeah I, I i'm happy to do a little bit here but i do need a little bit of casting points too but not a lot. A little. This will be fine. Thank you. This really helps me. Yeah. You can just, you can just have that as a gift. I don't. I don't. Like that's a smallish amount for me. So. Okay. Thank you. So it's, much. About, it's about half of what I have. So I'm just gonna keep the other. If you don't mind. All right. So in one more turn, we're gonna grab this, and then we can turn it into a sun shrine. So I think at this point we're gonna start working on an academy in in Selenra, and then we'll see if we can get um. That. Soul okay, well down, or the, the sun trying down to work on the soul well. These heroes now, I believe. Good, good, good. Teamwork. Go team venture. Go teamwork. Go team venture. God, I love that show. Oh. Ruby wants more fries. You want to get really bloated on fast food with me? Hell yeah. Why do you love french fries? You're weird. All right, so teammates, can can any of you guys get any any troops up here to to launch an attack on uh on his capital? What are troops and what is a capital and what's a noctis? Okay. <laughs> All right. Good deal. Uh, I, no, mean... I am. I am building. I am sending. I am sending. I'm clearing this this lover's spring, and then I will head that way. And that's right, cool. like next turn. I'll be heading that way. You've got three minutes to get there. Yeah, three minutes to get there. Perfect. We're not gonna. Uh, we're gonna play this again like next week, though, right? Or I think time. we'll try and wrap yeah. it up. Yeah. I have a sneaking suspicion it won't take very long. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I do like to wrap things up if we can. It's not mm, quite in the final form, and who knows, people might be able to like talk and come mm -hmm. up with a plan. Mm -hmm. I should be able to be, I I, I should be in on, in and around his capital region with an army capable of defeating him within the next five to ten turns. But uh, I mean, having having like backup could make it a lot less sketchy because because right now I'm gonna have to bring some dicey units to it. Yeah, it's kind of. Unfortunately, there, Noxus is It is there. far away, actually. <laughs> it, I'm the it, I'll snipe him right at the away. last moment. Yeah, yeah. You need that a, means victory for me. Oh, God, yeah, it takes so long for me. To get, it's easier for me to just give you my resources and you do it, because I'm, I'm like, 12 turns away. Yeah, you need a... Like, I think you spent too long in that corner. Like, I think if you'd taken yeah. Triway, then it would have really helped you out. Yeah. Ruby, can you stop? You can't. There's a cheesesteak sandwich right on my desk, and she wants the fries. A weird cat. Yeah, I think I think you just got cut off uh, from the uh, the core. And if you'd gotten into the middle, then I think you would have been a lot closer. And it's probably too early to be working on teleporters. Yeah, it's too early to be working on teleporters. Let's see what I can do. It's it's tricky. Good, it's tricky. Good means of good, good means of transportation. That's like you see. Yeah, teleportation would help, except that like teleporters require a lot. Five hundred generic is a lot, um, yeah. and so you you kind of need to get get logistics along the way. Get outposts. Make, hey, make hey, paint the map your yep. color. We can kill ogres. Keep <laughs> ogres. Keep. The spring crest oh. my ascent city. Oh, you got people. All right. I, I got it. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Oh, I need to cancel my turn. Okay. Uh, I move in your direction. Okay, so Sunhold. We, we have a chance to win. Uh, you want you want to try it? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Auto. Right. I, I, I have a uh, good hero with. Uh, yeah, we won. Oh, you lost yours. All right. Uh, Sorry. Uh, it was worth it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah kill it. <laughs> 
If yeah, we can get two the of these Awakeners down there, dead, I actually like I'd feel Empire, fantastic. But just, gonna but just be done with one is going to be a big no, deal. I, I don't know if you can continue after it. You continue after what? After killing Noctis. Like after after killing Noctis? I think it that'll end the game. Um, but, like, we, you know, we can try with, with seals and stuff. And I just want to find a victory condition that, that gives us something that we are that we feel compelled to move towards and then fight each other uh and and seals can be that um but i feel like with the way that it's currently scoring it's too slow uh and so having the teams pool together seems like it could be a way for us to to get things faster like i i'm happy to, to try that out next week if if wednesday is done with this because i am also experiencing yeah. the positive bug of my outpost build instantaneously which is weird i don't i don't know what i did but they are building definitely in one turn yeah that's weird Otherwise, if you want, if you want annoying, annoying AI without killing players, you can put the rampant infestation. Oh, <laughs> we we I play mean, with like regenerating infestations all yeah. well, pretty constantly. It's actually it's okay. mostly good. It's not really the world threatening you at all. It's like the world offering you more it's resources just, most of the time. It's just, yeah, it's just annoying. It does seem though. One nice thing is that it seems like the game might be stable again. Potentially. <laughs> no, I, mean, yeah, I feel like we've been playing with a lot of people and we have not had many crashes. I think that's a really good thing. Yeah, we I had a couple of crashes that. early and that's a... Now that you said that, it's going to crash. Yep. Okay. So I mean, yes. Saving? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, oh, we got soul banners online. All right, so uh, here we actually have just like a freebie. We can take whatever oh, we want to here on this this tome. So if anybody has any opinions on what they would I like to see, we we can certainly uh, yeah, pick something up. Let's see. What time is it? What? It's a. Uh, oh, it's three twenty-two. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would appreciate if we could um, call it for today. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll just take a minute to finish what I was doing here, but it, it sounds good if you guys need to head off. Um, yeah, it yeah. was fun. I, I'm sorry I complained, but, uh, you, you know, you said I mean, it, basically. You, you, got, you got pretty badly bodied. If you haven't played against the major advantage AI, like, you, it, it, it requires you to be very careful about moving around and, like, where you put your units. It is it is kind of tedious micro, because well, if you get, get yeah, into a fight I too early, it's bad. Uh, it's just been yeah. months. Yeah. Ten plays me mana. I was in the process of clicking that button, zombie. <laughs> Before you forget. No, I just did. It's just, it should be sent. Huh? But no, I've, I've played Wait. against them. I just didn't enjoy it because it's... a lot of the time you end up sieging the same city like twelve times, and it's just like, uh, like you're gonna have yeah. to siege that city forever. <laughs> it is gonna be a long, long, long siege. One hundred and fifteen is ridiculous. Especially like this early in the game. At least I'm gonna have siege fight. specialization, but like I, I don't have the uh materium thing, so I'm gonna only have three siege weapons. So that'll take like nine turns of like sitting on their mm -hmm. their capital. Uh some weapons right, would be out. nice actually. Uh, so we probably are week. gonna need to pick up um, uh item forge actually wouldn't be bad. Because I'm curious to see what's gonna happen with the ending the of the tier twos. There. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, we, sh one or... we should be heading quickly <laughs> towards the end, but this yeah, could be I, I head quickly towards face planting brutally into an auto resolve and then die. <laughs> like, yeah, a, that is wins. still yeah. not impossible. Yeah, yeah. I don't have, like, bone dragons already or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I'm heading out. All right, cool. See ya. See ya. All right, everybody. Well, that is it for our multiplayer stream for today. Um, next, so the next couple of days, I'm planning on doing uh, the Tome tier list, probably recording it tomorrow and Tuesday. So it should be out on like Wednesday or something like that. And then unless I'm like not 
feeling it than I imagine we'll probably be doing a single player live stream maybe Wednesday or Thursday. The question is, do so I keep your eyes open for that. To try and get to the right. capital or just follow uh, so Nautilus? Walker, take care. <laughs> that's a, that's a big question. Also, there's another small army just below Deepwell. <laughs>